Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Toku Titan Cast. I am your host, Davis Madol, also known as Titan Goji. And uh, wow, it's uh, it almost feels like uh, yesterday when uh, when uh, uh, when we got a new Japanese Godzilla film, and all of a sudden we have an American one. Just just a few months after Godzilla minus one. Um, but I won't be talking about this movie alone because with me I have Cole, aka Godzilla Gamer seventy seven. Hello. How you doing, Cole? Terrible, thank you. You sure? Yep. I'm uh, talking about this. <laughs> uh, you, 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 you sound, you sound pretty, pretty excited. You, no. you, 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 you really seem very, very enthusiastic to talk about, uh, yeah, yeah, the subject of the stream. Oh, I'm so excited! I, I'm doing backflips right now. I'm so excited. I mean, I, I, really now, uh, are you sure you're not doing double backflips? Oh no! Oh, I mean, I was doing that in the theater. I mean. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it because oh my god Alamo draft house was cooking during that i'll tell you that <laughs> yeah, oh love me some Alamo draft house um and we also have a very special guest for uh tonight's stream and that is citizen hal from too many movies how are you doing hal hey it's me i'm i'm the man i'm here i'm guest starring how you i'm doing good very nice, very nice. And um, uh, Lily was uh, with us earlier, but uh, uh, but I guess she's experiencing some difficulties um, on her end. Uh, in... Sounds like a certain other person I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and uh, we are expecting Daikaiju Tony to, to, uh, to join us uh, later on. Uh, but while we wait for Lily to get back here, uh, let's just go ahead and um, uh, just just do a you know, quick little. Uh, oh, there she is! <laughs> <laughs> I love Godzilla. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Understandable. Life, life's greatest mysteries. Uh, and be before we get started, I do want to let everyone know that Hal and Lily have talked about uh, uh, Godzilla Kong on uh, on on another uh, stream over at Hal's channel called uh, uh, Too Many Movies. I'm then why did we invite them? They already talked about the movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, well may maybe they can have something to add to the conversation, Cole. This is a redundant did, 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 stream. Did you did you ever consider that? Yeah, no. maybe it maybe it takes time to come up with other criticisms to have. Yeah, <laughs> I have I have more jokes. <laughs> more jokes. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're we're just gonna work our way backwards uh, with this one, um, and just real quick, uh, what did y'all think of Godzilla Kong: The New Empire? And talk about your experience going to the going to the theater, watching the movie, or however uh, else you you got to see it. Uh, starting off with how. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, I saw it. I was funny, actually. This was the very first Thursday showing I've ever gone to the movies at. Like, I've I've never gone to like a Thursday showing for a movie. So I was like, hey, you know what? Uh, why not? I'll I'll do that. And I went to an IMAX screening, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but the movie was not worth it. I will say uh -oh. that. I was like, <laughs> huh. Well, I mean, look, have I seen worse movies? Yes. Uh, was this the worst thing I've ever seen? No. Was it good? Also, no. <laughs> I'll say that. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's definitely not that memorable. I'll, I'll also say that. I gotcha. All right, uh, Lily. Uh, well, I saw it Thursday, so that way I could make the the schedule. Um, I saw it with my girlfriend. I saw it in IMAX, and uh, those sound systems, they were really bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm starting to notice a trend here. <laughs> and um, uh, I saw a couple during the movie walk out like maybe 30 minutes in and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I and um, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Cole. <laughs> uh, let me start it off by reading my letterbox review because I think this is uh, oh, pretty poignant. He's a uh, so Godzilla okay. X Kong, the new empire, one and a half stars out of five. <laughs> the child abuse was the best part. That's, that's my entire review. Uh, we, oh. but however, we do not condone that stuff. We do, we oh, do I not condone, condone it. it. That shit was hilarious. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, finally someone obvious, who speaks my language <laughs> it isn't obvious I, I didn't like the movie uh, it's it's bad but uh, the theater experience was kind of fun I went to Alamo Draft House because it's the closest Ooh. thing I can get to a quote IMAX experience where I go to college because the nearest AMC is like a good 40 minute drive if I want to oh, see an Jesus. IMAX <laughs> yeah so but I will say Alamo Draft House is a really good theater before the movie even started they had a bunch of stuff like playing beforehand because they always do that oh, and yeah. some of the stuff they showed was actually hilarious like there was a video of this guy in an ape suit just break dancing on a building and i was crying laughing over it i thought it was <laughs> so funny <laughs> uh and they also had some other cool stuff like the the one content creator like beer they had some stop motion bits uh for the movie and it was they were really charming they're really good uh oh, so yeah. that was worth it i i got a cup it was actually a pretty cool cup uh but yeah i mean the theater experience was fine it was just uh the movie wasn't <laughs> <laughs> but you, yeah. got a st- you got a stop motion short film at the beginning i got like uh an m&ms and nissan commercials at the beginning so. well, you know that can't oh. be worse because like you know where was the saw... volkswagen ad you yeah see, I, saw... Volkswagen. I don't know all car commercials are the same well, you see, I saw Indy 5 in IMAX. The reason I, only, I even saw it was because the alcoholic drink was pretty enticing. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the alcoholic drink. <laughs> and you needed the alcoholic drink to get through Indy 5. How about that? <laughs> Dude, it was a good drink. It kind of made it worth it. We also pre-gamed before it. So, yeah, I was having yeah, a blast yeah. through Indy there 5. You go. <laughs> and... I should pre-game for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and, and, and address the, the elephant in the room or or for... Uh, or for a more appropriate term, uh, the lack of a fairy in the room. Uh, Sean oh my won't, God. won't be joining us tonight uh, <laughs> due to <laughs> scheduling conflicts. Uh, but but Sean did want to give his two cents uh, on the film here. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got scared for a second. I thought you said something else. <laughs> Do I want to ask? <laughs> no, you know what you, you know what I thought. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so uh, so as as for me, I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and give like a quick play by play. So my girlfriend and I, we uh, we we uh, we went to go see uh, Godzilla Kong in the theater, and and on our way over there, we we see this like I, I like I want to say like five or six year old kid like crying, like scared <laughs> to like watch the movie, and he's like hugging an evolved Godzilla toy and. Who I assume is his father is 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 like trying to console him, saying, "Hey, uh, uh, is, is no need to be upset. It's gonna it's gonna be a fun movie." And uh, we we walk into the auditorium, and like half of the theater is like is is filled with children, uh, and uh, some so, so, some of which were a, a a little loud and rowdy throughout the movie. And uh, there, and so we watched the movie, and. We went to a 7.30 showing. I've decided to swear to myself that I would never go to a theater like anywhere past like uh, like 8.30 or 9 o'clock uh, because because uh, I will fight the urge uh, to fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, happened when I, when I saw Asteroid City. It even happened when I saw Dune Part 2 for the first time where, uh, where I, was, I, was, I was starting to nod off towards the end. So this was a 7:30 showing. Uh, about uh, like about halfway through the movie, I'm already starting to fall asleep a little. <laughs> My girlfriend <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> uh, I I th- I think she woke up for, for for like for like the last 10 or 15 minutes uh, j- just in time for 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 the final battle. 
after the final battle ended, so, like that, like the guy sitting next to us, like got up and walked out of the theater, like, <laughs> like just like right when things are just starting to settle and come to a close. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a movie. Oh, but what <laughs> happened to the kid? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> I never yeah. saw him again. <laughs> no, never, no, never saw him again. <laughs> Davis, well, what did I tell you that happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 that, 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 that they took him out back? <laughs> yeah, they took him out back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unrelated, that kid's been missing for like a couple weeks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can you all find this kid? Can you identify this child? Yeah, last no, the spot kid was with, so uh, scared. He like evaporated midway through. The spot, movie. Spotted with the fearsome Godzilla that evolved. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so, he uh, evolved. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, so uh, yeah, sounds like we're all uh, on the same page uh, uh, regarding, uh, yeah, you know, uh, regarding uh, the movie itself, and, and that it's um, really just yeah, yeah, really, <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> um, but before we can really dive into uh, Godzilla Kong, the new empire, I feel like we <laughs> do need to talk about its predecessor, Godzilla versus Kong, because mm. I feel like that is the movie in this uh, in this mo in this monster verse series where things really started to take a turn for um i'm the just, worst the, the a, a bunch of like question marks all over the place in terms of quality storytelling and all that and this is something that uh hal and lily uh, touched upon it in uh in their uh in, in their too many movies episode was that um Godzilla King of the Monsters and Godzilla vs. Kong were basically produced back to back. Yeah. And and while Godzilla vs. Kong was uh, was getting ready to go, <laughs> King of the Monsters came out and it just got shredded uh, by critics and and basically legendary Warner Brothers got cold feet, which led to a lot of uh, re like rewrites, reshoots, uh, what have you, regarding Godzilla versus Kong, to the point where we got a completely different movie than what we were seeing through set photos, and and even the novelization described something completely different. Uh, Hal, Lily, would y'all would y'all like to expand upon that? I mean, one thing I definitely I don't know if I necessarily went into this on my episode, but. One thing I really felt while watching, especially w watching it this time around while preparing for that podcast, rewatching Godzilla versus Kong, I was like really watching it being like, this should feel a lot bigger in scale and in scope. And it feels a lot smaller is the thing. Like, I don't know, like after King of the Monsters and after all, like the quote unquote hype that was up to it, I was like kind of expecting like this real big event movie. And it just comes across as like kind of a kind of a whimper the more I think about it. Like it's just kind of yeah. ugh, you know. Uh it, it, it's 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 like it's like it's like it's like in a way you definitely get uh you know what what you came to see, but yeah, the problem is that everything around it just doesn't make it feel earned. You can't uh, help but feel sense. like it's it's it needs something more to be truly <laughs> epic. Right, like, like, especially like continuing after Godzilla, King of the Monsters, where Ghidorah almost destroyed the entire planet. Yeah. So uh, what you're saying is the movie needs to be good, right? Is what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> that sounds like a great <laughs> idea. I need it to be a movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Lily, would would you like to expand upon that? Um. I think the biggest thing that I find constantly rewatching that movie all however many times I've rewatched it is that the more I watch it, the more I'm bored I am. Understandable. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the watch I did before I saw Godzilla Kong, the exact day I saw uh, King Kong versus Godzilla to Hal, um, I stopped paying attention about 20 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> and uh i literally i literally just did anything but watch the movie yeah and this is, uh, i'll give i'll give these movies that i do want to rewatch king of the monsters at some point 
like it's got me interested like hey you know that was actually a really fun movie i want to watch it again yeah um Godzilla vs Kong just isn't good. No, I'm no. sorry. No, <laughs> it's, it's uh, I don't really, I don't like how it looks. Is the models just break most of the time? A great example. Uh, Godzilla's arm dislocates while he's grabbing Mechagodzilla. <laughs> I, 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 are, are you sure that's not normal? <laughs> I mean, it's sure if you if you like Hokuto no Ken, then maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla don't got no bones. <laughs> all right. But um, I th- oh, I'm sorry. I continue. mean, I do think uh, for all the movie tried to be, it ended up being pretty much nothing. Yeah. Um, like, and I don't really like the notion that it saved cinemas when it was cinemas was doing perfectly fine. It's not like it was dead. Yeah, no, it was very much it came out at the right time for it yeah. to be like, oh, the cinemas are back. And it's just like uh, people went to the movie, like not as many people went to the movies in late 2020. Like it wasn't until early 2021 is when people started to come back. Like, you know, like people were saying like, oh, cinema's back by like mid 2022 when people are just like, this is the first time I'm in a theater. It's just like it, it kept they kept moving the goalposts when it's like that whole like cinema's back thing, you know? Yeah. And um but it definitely did start I, with Godzilla yeah, versus Kong. But like, uh, I, I just I mean, know none of those people saw Tenet. Yeah, I did. Well, <laughs> I, I, didn't. I saw Tenet and I saw Thomas and the Magic Railroad for its 20th anniversary. Yeah. Hey. Theater run. <laughs> That's a movie right there. That was the last movie I saw in theaters. In you know, that movie is kind of like uh, Godzilla versus Kong. But no, it's not. It's good. <laughs> wow yeah hey, hey don't shit on thomas like sorry that. i, will I mean you. it's epic yes yes yeah. yes <laughs> thomas's first epic adventure yeah <laughs> but uh i mean i think my my biggest point of criticism is that the the, the fights are terrible mm. the, they're just like as much as they try to make the fights interesting ultimately it's just noise but Lily and fighter playing uh, darts. Oh, ooh, ooh, I'm, I'm so impressed. <laughs> Lethal Weapon 2 reference. Apparently. Oh, oh yeah. That's, that's that, 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 that they had off. a credit. <laughs> oh, I'm still yeah. I'm furious at that because I'm such a huge fan of Lethal Weapon 2. And that's the reference is just Khan, a, like hitting his shoulder. It's like, it's, a, a it's OK. It has, to, it has to reference Mel Gibson. Why would you remember? Uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, lethal weapon. <laughs> uh, Cole, w- uh, what are your thoughts on Godzilla versus Kong? Uh, let me. Okay, so when I first saw it, when it first came out, I thought it was like whatever. Uh, now that I've had more time to sit on it, I think it sucks. <laughs> 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 like, uh, I hate a lot of my hate. <sighs> This is it's just really weird to describe because like a lot I a lot of the issues that you guys brought up I have like very similar I think the characters are well here, okay some of the characters are completely terrible but like whenever they focus on like Millie Bobby Brown and Apex the movie is like unbearable yeah. it's like genuinely terrible uh, the plot a lot of the time makes no sense like it's very obvious they only cared about the fights and it's like okay even if you care about the fights it's like you, you do realize you have a movie to make after that right. Like, and even then, the fights are, uh, they're not great. Uh, the camera, it's like, there's like barely a lot of scale to them. Like, especially the final fight, where it's like, there's some parts where I can see they tried, but there's also other parts where, uh, it's just, they're moving way too fast for how big they're supposed to be. And like, like the parts where it's like, I think there's like a part where I guess it's like crawling. I'm like, that just looks awkward as hell. I'm like, that doesn't look natural. But Cole, don't you know that it's supposed to be a big show homage? I'm gonna get to that. That oh my god, that bothers me so much. Um, Cause uh, yeah, I I'm not like there's some parts where they actually try to put weight to these things, but it's like other parts they just don't give a shit. And I'm like, okay, this seems very inconsistent. Uh, yeah, it's it's not very good. A lot of the like again, they add stuff like Ren Sarazel, which I think is one of the worst things they've ever added in any of these movies. Because I'm like, 
this makes no sense and he's also yeah. terrible who is this guy even like yeah like he just shows up and then he does yeah. nothing and yeah. it's like oh okay that's that's the sir Zoe's kid it's just like uh, cool i don't care <laughs> like, <laughs> like for the people who like basically said oh we don't really care about the humans like they kind of got what they wanted but it's like they still tried with a story but it's like there, there's barely any story like it's just, it's just not very well written i think william put it best where he said this was the first movie where he agrees with the idea of people being like oh in kaiju movies human characters suck it's just like no there have been good human characters in kaiju movies before there's plenty like, yeah, there's plenty. And especially, and I made this a point, like we're living in a post minus one world now. It's just like, you know, th th not only can they be good, they can be the best part of the movie too. Mm -hmm. And also like other stuff, like uh, there's so many plot inconsistencies. Like uh, you're telling me there's portals to Hollow Earth, but then Godzilla can just blow a hole to it. So like, <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. All really? the way to the center of the earth. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like, so you're telling me you could just dig there theoretically if you wanted to? Then what the hell is the point of a portal? Like, what? Uh, and that yeah, hole is never of... addressed again. Yeah, no. yeah, it disappears. Yeah, it's just it. Yeah, no, it's no, it's no longer there. Which Whatever. that's going to be something I mentioned in this movie because it's like, couldn't Scar King just theoretically like just dig his way back up if he really tried? You know, <laughs> he's got all this. Yeah, slides. That's, that's not do fair. It. He doesn't have a shovel. <laughs> uh, he did. He did have a shovel. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I just, I hate a lot of what the movie, like, kind of represented, because it just, it was a lack of caring, and it was just, oh, they only care about this, so let's just not try with anything else, and I'm like, that really rubbed me the wrong way, because I'm like, mm. you can make, and I'm not saying Godzilla movies can't be, like, fun or anything, like, shit, I love some of the dumbass Godzilla movies, I mean, I have Megalon High for a reason, but, like, uh, it just didn't feel sincere to me, it just felt like, very just hollow and just just, just like no the hollow care. earth yeah like it's just it wasn't there just wasn't a lot of care put into it and it really yeah. rubs me the wrong way because you can still make a like a fun action movie and still have a compelling story but they just didn't give a shit look at so, lethal weapon 2 a movie yeah, it yeah. apparently references yeah <laughs> yes but yeah that's kind of my thoughts on gvk yeah like, I, have, uh, I have one more thing i have oh, one more go thing. ahead uh, Hong Kong. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, go off on Hong Kong. So, I know we, uh, really we have a very strong white presence here. Uh, and, and none of you. No, know I'm about... ginger. I'm different. <laughs> oh, right. You're, you're evil. You're evil. Yeah. No soul. I have red hair. I'm different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hong Kong is awfully represented in this movie um they turn what is a very beautiful city into a generic neon cyberpunk city and, and if you look cool at pic cyberpunk city. yeah and if you look at pictures of hong kong even at night it looks nothing like it yeah. um <laughs> and i've had people try to argue against me <laughs> and <laughs> i would point out hey even during this, the night festivals, which were for boosting the economy, they don't look like that. The, none of the lights in that movie exist. Mm -hmm. And if they do, they're not that ungodly bright and have particle effects. <laughs> Hong Kong has always looked like Tron. What do you mean? See, uh, oh, yeah. Well, well see, you see, you, Lily, I, mean, I think you're just uh, nitpicking a movie here. Uh, <laughs> see, I was I was thinking about that, and I looked it up. Like, literally, I just looked up pictures of Hong Kong at night. I'm like, oh, yeah. See, <laughs> like, it it's funny like that. because, like, if you watch Pacific Rim, hmm? uh, that still obeys the architecture and the lighting systems of Hong Kong, and it still looks really good. And the part oh, don't we compare. brought up with that is that Pacific Rim movie? is like a it's like a fantasy setting because it's like ten years after they discovered kaiju's and they have it's like a fa fantastical setting of Hong Kong and they get that more right than the movie. Yeah, that's like to be more there's act, like most of Hong Kong is like amber yeah. uh, at the at the like the street level. You're gonna be really fucked to see like uh, any neon beyond maybe the first. 10 or so floors of like corporate buildings and those are at the top 
And let's not forget that Pacific Rim had a fundamental understanding of scale and cinematography. <laughs> And, and you know it's an actual story. good movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sounds like a real director made that movie. Yeah. yeah. All right. What well, what was it, Davis? Oh yeah. Uh, but, but my turn to talk about GBK. Uh, when I first watched it, I absolutely hated it. Uh, mm. I, I I I'm I'm sure many can recall my video where I was just severely disappointed in what the film was, just just all together. Um, as time went on, it did kind of grow on me just a tad because, because uh, like I, 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 I was kind of uh, coming to to an understanding that like like it was like it, like it wasn't trying to be like this, you know, big epic, you know, blockbuster thingy. But then I realized it wasn't trying. <laughs> <laughs> So can you really be that mad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, like, 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 uh, like, especially as time went on, you, you uh, uh, like more, like more information, like about the film would come out about how, how like, how, how it, w it was going to be totally different. It wasn't just going to be this, uh, this like monster mash slug fest with a Minecraft Mecha Godzilla, if you will. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, you just reminded me. Remember when Adam Wingard said it'd be like a battle royale, a monster's going at it? He did say I, that. Hmm. He's Maybe the... for like five seconds. <laughs> Good job, Adam. Because uh, yeah, uh, like, uh, like from what what I can gather, um, the, the original story for Godzilla vs. Kong, there was this huge emphasis on broken people trying to find ways to like either improve better themselves come to term with loss turmoil just trying to find that light at the end of the tunnel and after king of the monsters didn't, didn't do so well critically they're like eh, let's just not do that <laughs> <laughs> nuance never heard of her <laughs> who needs that who needs that? Because no, no, nobody cares about the human characters, right? I, right. I mean, yeah. what, 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 why do I even bother? No, this franchise has never had any good characters ever, okay? <laughs> Godzilla has never been about nuance. Nick Adams never existed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this franchise should never be good, okay? Like, yeah. it never should be good. It yeah. was never meant to be good. <laughs> Is this movie good? Well, it's a Godzilla movie, so no. <laughs> exactly. Godzilla sucked dick. Yeah. Godzilla <laughs> took dick. Uh but yeah, uh so that that was 2021. Uh fast forward to uh three years later. I'm 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 terrible at math. Uh we 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 finally get Godzilla Kong, the new empire, really? What is this, Planet of the Apes? <laughs> like they're gonna team? That's not fair. It's not fair. Sitting on a chair. <laughs> uh. So. Uh. So yeah. Um. First trailer came out like what November? Like uh, like uh, like around the time Godzilla minus one came out. Yeah. And um, there were some interesting re uh, reactions regarding the trailer, both. Uh, both <laughs> positive and negative. Uh, I guess before we talk uh, uh, talk about the actual movie itself, I, I, I guess we can talk about like what our expectations were before seeing said film. Uh, how would you like to kick us off? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really have much expectations of anything. I was just like, I mean, again, like, like I would probably say like after watching, rewatching Godzilla versus Kong and coming to the conclusion oh this isn't as fun as i remembered it being i was like i don't expect this sequel to be much better or really anything that great regard like either like i was just like i'm sure this is either at best this is going to be dumb fun like at best but then it was just dumb <laughs> <laughs> well yeah fun. Yeah, no, no, it was pretty much just dumb. I mean, there were some, I'll say this, there are some things I like about the movie. It's just not the whole thing. 
All right, uh, Lily. Um, well, when I saw the trailer, um, I didn't like it. <laughs> no, sir, uh, I don't like it. Yeah, I just looked at it, didn't like it. You saw the, you saw the the scene of them yelling in Egypt. You're like, something's missing. <laughs> something's <laughs> missing. I wonder what it could be. Uh, <laughs> uh, it just seemed like everything that we uh, fans had been trying to push against the notion of the uh, franchise. And we we're getting exactly what was long since the 50s, uh, given the notion of for even Japanese or Asian cinema in general, which is just it's all rubbish that you just eat popcorn to so wacky i like popcorn <laughs> I, I like popcorn <laughs> well you're a part of the problem damn it <laughs> you're, you're always the problem fan. cole yeah. no more i'm sick of popcorn what I is know, that next I video going to be ready cole yeah, i know i'm the the hated one of the toku time cast I, i've already accepted that <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Cole, what did you think of uh, the trailer as well as uh, any sort of uh, impressions regarding the movie before seeing it? I'll briefly talk about what I thought before I talk about something else related to this because, oh, my God. Uh, so I'm, I don't really want to try and compare this movie to Minus One a lot because I feel like they're two radically different movies. With different oh, yeah, roles. they totally yeah, are. But like, Very much. I will just describe when I first saw the Minus One trailer, I was like, Holy shit, this looks crazy. I had a stone cold reaction to the GXK trailer. Like I barely <laughs> reacted to anything. And then it ended and I went, this is the exact movie that I thought this was going to be. And it didn't look very good. Uh, the That's moment I saw Godzilla and Kong like running and I realized <laughs> it's really fast. There's like no <laughs> way really? they, they don't even like, there's like no scale, and I was like, "Oh, okay, like this is the kind of movie we're getting now." Okay. They're not even sitting in the chair. Yeah, like, yeah it's, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. They're teaming really? up. That's not <laughs> fair. Really? What the new? I mean, the new empire. What is this? The Force Awakens. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was kind of. I just, frankly, I just didn't really care. <laughs> like, I was like, I was still gonna watch it, but I just didn't like sure. care a lot about it. And because uh, it was it was the exact mood that the people who keep like trying to like hardcore defend the monsterverse with like this is the movie they want. And I'm like, you're going to get it. So like, that's fine. <laughs> and like, good for you. And, yeah, and, and I mean, like, six, and if they 65 percent drop at the box like, office and I'm like, look, Whoops. like if you enjoy that, this stuff, that's fine. I don't have an issue with it. Where I do have the issue is when you get your butt hurt about like when someone slightly criticizes something because, oh, my God, the shitstorm around this movie was insane online. You couldn't go one half of the Internet with them like trying to attack other people for like criticizing it. And if you defended it, you were like a whole different side of it. It was an absolute nightmare to talk about this movie until it came out. It was crazy. I was like, man, people really got to like come chill out for a second. <laughs> like, it was crazy. Which is funny because you know in like a couple months, nobody's going to be talking about this movie. <laughs> well, I mean, yep. it's going to be a lot more like downplayed now. Yeah. But I, I swear it was an absolute nightmare before this came out. So like, yeah, that was still is. Of I mean, it still kind of is, but before it came out, especially on Twitter, oh my god, it was insane. Well, there's your problem, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I think I see your problem. Uh, but yeah, my 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 impression on uh, Godzilla Kong: The New Empire. Uh, really? After <laughs> after watching the trailer, um, I was like. Yeah, that, that that's a trailer, all right. <laughs> um, and going in and in, in, uh, in going in, into the movie itself, like I I I I wasn't really expecting anything, uh, you know, great, so to, uh, so to speak. I wasn't expecting anything absolutely absolutely terrible either, because uh, I I I want to be able to take in the film for. Uh, uh, for for what it uh, for what it is, I want to 
understand what it is and 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 what and what and, and what it's trying to be. And uh, well, safe, what is it? Safe to say, expectations were met, but I wouldn't say that's necessarily a good thing on the, on the movie's part. But is it a bad thing? Take take it however, however you will. Um, and that's why you're here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this this movie really is just whatever. Woo, uh, it's, it's, it's just whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, can, just, you, uh, <laughs> can you pull up this? Uh, there's this comment by Dr. Coomer. I must say, great name. Uh, he said something really funny. He said, I know this would be some generic YouTuber and say this is the modern day Godzilla versus Megalon, but I, but that would be the most sacrilegious thing I would have ever said. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to leak your IP address, but then I read the last part, so thank you. You know, you're, you're safe. Don't worry. You're safe for now. Yeah, for now. I'm we, watching you, Dr. Coomer. <laughs> we, we love, and respect, and appreciate Godzilla versus Megalon in this household. Yeah. <laughs> Don't disrespect my baby like that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Godzilla Kong, the new empire comes out really? and basically plot goes uh is is that uh gia starts having these visions of like three triangles uh that you know uh, that are alluded to all over the film it has something to do with the hollow earth meanwhile kong is venturing through the hollow earth to uh you uh, just just doing kong stuff and eventually stumbles uh, stumbles upon the subtitular new empire where he comes face to face with uh the scar king and while that's going on uh godzilla is just going on a, like a mean dirty bulk uh just uh, just absorbing <laughs> a, a bunch of radiation because uh because uranium actually has a ton of calories which is very good if you're trying to bulk up and put and put on some good size um uh and yeah uh, the these these three plot lines just sort of come into one and things happen from there well you're missing the most important subplot wait what what am i missing kong goes to the dentist you're right. That 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 was that was basically the first half of the movie. I thought you were that... gonna say like the sex plot or something. I was about to be like, whoa. <laughs> no. no, I'm talking about the important dentist subplot. Oh, I was most engaged during the dentist subplot personally. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I'd see a root canal in a kaiju movie, but here we are. Yeah. yeah. This and Finding Nemo, the movie that really brings dentistry up to snuff. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis. Dennis, rise up for this movie. Come on. <laughs> Peak dentistry cinema. <laughs> yeah, there were, there were no apples in this movie, so definitely we're trying to You're cater. You're right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're just going to um, uh, talk about the movie for a little bit before we dive into spoilers. Um, so, um, what, what do we think of I, I guess just the overall story and plot, if if you can even call it that. Uh, so no, easy. Uh, Two words. It sucks. Thank you. <laughs> wow. All right. We're done. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Turn off the stream. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Cole, would, would you like to further expand upon that? Um, oh, for the plot specifically or the whole uh, thing? Uh, uh, yeah, that's going to be really hard. Yeah. Oh, um, okay, sure. I can tell you about the plot. There is no plot. Like, there's barely a story. <laughs> like, uh, either, okay, I'll give the movie some credit. There are some parts that I thought weren't bad. Uh, but, like, the actual, like, human plot, if we're going to get to that specifically, it, there's nothing. There's literally, there's barely anything. Um, you can see like, the attempts, but it's just, like, it's with characters you really just don't care about. Like... like <laughs> Like Gia and the mom are like the most like okay characters. Yeah. And but the other again. two, I, I wish they died. <laughs> <laughs> uh like the one guy did where he Bernie uh, and Trapper. <laughs> yeah, because they they were annoying. They constant like I did appreciate the scenes where there wasn't any dialogue and they could just tell the story. Like that mm. stuff's fine. 
But whenever the humans were there, they they talk to the audience like we're five years old and can't tell what the hell's going on. Well, like, I'm sorry, Cole, but maybe I am five years old. Well, a skill issue. About that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like stuff like that was just, uh, there's just, there's nothing there. And then like the, the key moments, like uh, there's other stuff like, actually, wait, no, that's a spoiler. Cause there's, there's this is still spoiler free, right? Yeah, yeah, we're still, still okay, spoiler free. Okay. Then I, I won't, this will be for later then, but there's like reveals later on and like characters showing up and I'm like, how when <laughs> and how um you see i mean I, I mean clearly because you know the human characters never mattered yeah. yeah uh the villain is kind of a complete joke uh like his first scene is kind of neat actually that was probably the, my favorite scene of the whole movie was that but uh after that uh he's a complete joke there is uh oh, he yeah. just kind of exists and he gets taken out really quickly and there's like no tension during the entire climax. No, and I'm no. like, well, that sucks. Well, uh, that just happened. The the fights in general are not very good. There is uh they again, the movement is just so awkward. They literally fly around and I'm just standing there or not not standing. I'm not standing in a movie theater. <laughs> I'm st- I'm yeah, sitting there yeah, like I realize. Yeah. yeah, but I'm like uh I'm just sitting there and I'm just like i i can't take it seriously because i i don't know it's just really it just the way it's animated is really awkward like godzilla just looks so awkward when he moves especially in his evolved form it's like the way they animated it it just looks wrong to me i'm like i don't know why he moves like this uh the effects in general are incredibly inconsistent there are some scenes that don't look bad (laughs) Yeah. And then there are other scenes that looks like they barely got finished rendering. Oh. Uh, also, going back to the fights uh, again, like I know I harp on like the scale, but seriously, there is like, especially when they're in the cities, because that bothered me the most. Like, it, like these creatures that are this big just should not move like this. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like uprising level of like, like they're supposed to be big, but they don't feel big. Like, I, it's just really awkward there's nothing impressive about the way it's shot or anything like that it's just a big cgi fest that doesn't really have a lot else going for it besides the action but like not even the action's that good so i was just really checked out the entire movie uh yeah that's pretty much my overall takeaway of it it's the exact movie i thought it was going to be when i walked in and it didn't really disappoint in that regard Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So low bar. And again, if you enjoy these movies, I'm not gonna like fight you over it really. Like that's fine. Just don't get your panties in a twirl when someone says they don't like it and give honest <laughs> criticism, please. Because oh my god, that stuff riles me up to no end. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure we might be the only people who don't like this movie. Really? No, oh, no, that's sixty. That's sixty sixty-five percent drop in the box office. <laughs> oh, I don't true. Know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, Lily, your thoughts? Well, um, I went in knowing I wasn't going to like it, and well, I wasn't. I wasn't far off. <laughs> you loved it. Oh, uh, t- sure. It's your favorite movie, right? Yeah, you favorite. really oh, enjoyed it. Yeah, my my favorite worst movie I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, it's just under madam web yeah which, she is, also, yeah. which is probably true <laughs> oh, 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 hold on I'll, let me check <laughs> i have my i already have my letterbox up let me check oh i didn't even add it <laughs> uh, you, you're a fake fan oh uh, yeah uh, so doing, i've been told doing backflips in the theater like cole <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, i yeah, did backflips when i saw brendan fraser and killers of the flower moon now that was a backflip worthy moment all right all right all right so this movie needed brendan fraser <laughs> i i would say the okay. first the, the 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 opening like prologue with godzilla fighting scylla already made me go all right i'm, I'm not gonna like the this. whale <laughs> probably it would have been way better than the whale you didn't you didn't like you didn't like the mac and cheese goo all over godzilla because uh, you know the fact this movie is all fights i can just talk about uh the obvious stuff um 
the uh, the fights. Um, I've seen people compare it to the Pipeworks games. Um, that's not the Pipework games, guys. I don't think you've ever played those games because <laughs> those I, games are good. <laughs> yeah, like they don't move at like four hundred miles per hour and then do like floaty uh, bouncing about the park. Um, also, uh, also, like one is a video game, the other is a movie. <laughs> Yeah, the th the thing What's is, the like, you can, you can have a movie feel like a video game, but not at the cost of it being a movie. Yeah. Because mm, this did not feel like a movie. I feel like I was watching, like, a TV, sh a TV show, like, Monster of the Week episode. Hmm. Where right. Very like, much. Or, 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 or a tech demo for a toy commercial. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, because that's what it is. Yeah. Or a Volkswagen uh, commercial. I, whenever. Yeah, when Volkswagen I commercial. commercial. Yeah. Like, even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The obvious Volkswagen commercial. <laughs> um, but, like, um, like, even. I, I, that good point about the toy commercial part, because I remember the more I was seeing from the trailers, the TV spots. The toys and i was like this is just batman and robin for godzilla <laughs> it is <laughs> it, you know it's bad. such Whoa. it's a very blatant toy commercial that like folds in on like an audience supposed expectation of what a move that ip's movies would be like now hey wait um, a minute where's the godzilla credit card oh uh, all right got the godzilla credit card never leave the cave without it <laughs> <laughs> Like it's probably somewhere at the Godzilla no, no, store. No, 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 no. If it, no, if, well, if it's the Kong credit card, he doesn't leave the whole Earth without it. Okay, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean that's probably how he he probably has to go through through the Easy Pass. Yeah. What's the what's the what's the uh, e e economic situation in uh, Hollow Earth right now? Do you think the stocks are good down there? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, what is um, Sir King's business anyway? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The new empire, right? <laughs> Does he run a crypto scam? <laughs> <laughs> he might. He probably would. He yeah, he probably does. But um, like star coins going to be the next big thing. <laughs> yeah, the star coins. I'm investing right. No, no, now. no, no. Send it to the moon. It's to the surface because that's his goal in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh god, um, yeah, like, like Cole said, like the CGI looks so unfinished. Hmm. Um. Are we gonna get a patch update for this movie? Just like cast. <laughs> are we gonna get DLC? Yeah, are we gonna get uh, 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 a, a, a just, just, just like what happened with Across the Spider Verse? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it, I mean, variant, the, variations. alternate variations of the sound mixing. So, sometimes you can hear it. Sometimes you can't. Yeah, that's a bit. That's a that's something I took away. I I'm glad you pointed that out because because like I thought I was just in a bad theater. Like when I went, cause like my AMC I saw it at is not particularly great, but like I, I suck it up, but like knowing that like, Oh, apparently everybody's been having audio issues with this movie. It's like, Oh, I guess this movie just sucks. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. like I, I'm in a minority on that. Maybe just because the Alamo draft house I go to is really nice. Cause it is really nice. I didn't really have audio issues with the movie. Like, uh, like if you, if you guys are trying to like the speakers are like, crackling or something or just like what do you mean by sound issue like specifically just like, like, the, like just so just, whenever just the sound design in general yeah whenever adam would put in a licensed song it's like okay i'm sure this is going to be a really cool scene and then the sound effects and the music would just clash with one another one oh another where okay I that i anything. agree with you okay yeah. that makes sense i thought you were talking like the movie theater itself because i was like i didn't well, have that's any issues what i thought it was i thought it was yeah. the movie theater but it turns out it's every movie theater okay. so. i thought i was going crazy for a second i was yeah. like what <laughs> no it, right. it just it sounded horrible i was just it was like just noise and like yeah, especially I towards mean... the end where like the fights got incomprehensible to look at it was just constant noise and constant visual nonsense i was just like oh i, I can't like this is hard to look and hear like it's just it's yeah just awful but uh big, big like uh i feel like this movie ended up feeling what the babe formers movies are told to be by mm. most of the public yeah it's like loud incomprehensible noise and visuals yeah and you, you can hardly make out what's going on yeah like basically like what the average like oh 
CG, whatever, like a movie comes out and it's just like this big CGI fest. Like that's what we're told that is. In which case, sometimes, yeah, something like this, it is absolutely valid because I can't fucking see or hear what the hell is happening. Yeah. Well, on the bright side, this time you may not get a seizure uh, <laughs> from going from them going into the hollow earth. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you do get very annoying dialogue. So, you know, it's true. Maybe so you maybe still might get deaf. a seizure. So you still <laughs> yeah, might get a seizure. Yeah, the, you know, mileage may vary. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I will say, like, uh, some of the editing of this movie is bad. Like, oh my god, the opening credits when the title came up, I was like, that is the most awkward title insert I've I've seen in a while because it just showed up. Like, there was like no build up to it. It just happened. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, like even even GVK like had a build up to its title or someone. I was like, what? What? Yeah, what that's happened? a very very interesting point. Where's the where where's the opening credits? <laughs> it's there's like like sure like Cotton didn't really have any, but the end credits pretty much did it. Oh yeah. Oh, and the end credits for Cotton were fantastic. Oh yeah. Yeah, and like the MonsterVerse is like known for like really great opening credits. Yeah, like, I I think the opening to the 2014 film, like as many issues as I have with the 2014 film, I can agree. Like that opening is really cool. Like it really gets you in the mood. That is a backflip worthy opening right there. Yeah, yeah. while you're standing in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while you're standing in the theater, you're making backflips towards the back. No, yeah, I'm doing yeah. more than backflips though. I'm like twerking or something during that. It's so good. <laughs> it's interesting that they would bring up 2014 uh as as well as just uh like the sound mixing of this film like i i just want to say like like the sound mixing is is easily like the worst thing about this movie yeah es- especially in, in in regards to the music uh, cuz mm. if you go all the way back to 2014 that that movie's Godzilla theme it very much felt like this tribute uh to like two classic 50s and 60s monster mo- movies while not exactly trying to be that it was still very much its own unique thing very much so and then and then we get to King of the Monsters where where well, it's it's straight it's straight up the Godzilla theme, but uh, uh, but I guess like a like a more modernized take on it through Barry yeah. McCreary score. Yeah. And now we have Junkie XL, and it's it's an imitation of the Godzilla theme, where it's trying to be the Godzilla theme, but it's not the Godzilla theme, and it's a shame because we we have plenty of of great Godzilla themes, like Godzilla nineteen eighty four. Like that's not the classic Godzilla theme, but it's still iconic like it's brooding it's dreadful suspenseful all of that and then we have Michiru Oshima's Godzilla theme from the Millennium films like there's this like sheer sense of scale power also like wonder and spectacle that's that's tied to it here um it's nothing well, <laughs> it's like, funny. It, like doesn't even, mean anything even the people who like like, defend... like it like it like it's like it 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 just it like it sounds cool and that's it well like even the people sounds who cool defend, in the moment yeah even people right. who defend like uh gvk or gxk i have not heard one person defend the soundtrack for either of these movies yeah, <laughs> like, no. That's, uh, that's the thing. W- William really opened up my eyes to how fucking generic these these fucking soundtracks are, which is a which, shame because they use a lot of synth sometimes. And like, I'm a sucker for synth, but like, even listening to it, I'm like, oh, it's just not enough. Like this like, movie soundtrack honestly felt like AI, which wouldn't be that far off because this bro, <laughs> he's an AI bro. Whoever does you are the junk, the junkie guy. He <laughs> there's a video of him promoting AI and how great it is, and I'm like, talk oh, about okay. Junkie XL. Yeah, but <laughs> uh, but he has done that, and it, it kind of felt like like there's just nothing there in the yeah. soundtrack for both of these movies. Yeah, and uh, and and I also 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 want to want to touch back uh, on, on the action and say like that, that like the big reason it was missing a lot of the weight and scale, you know that 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 you would see like in in these type in in these types of films. Is that the sound design doesn't do anything to complement that? Sorry, complement that. Like you're seeing right. these monsters, like you know, throw down and all of that, but you're not 
feeling it like uh, like even godzilla versus kong like uh, uh like there there were times where like you you still felt like you were seeing and and as well as you know as well as just feeling the power these monsters were capable of whereas here they they they, they, they might they might as well just be slapping each other with like towels and whatnot <laughs> I mean, that's how the fight scenes felt. So yeah, yeah. Look at that kid; he's got yeah. bosoms. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, oh, uh, Hal, um, is is uh, is there anything uh you uh, you, would, you would like to uh address that we haven't? Um, I will say one thing I actually do like about this film is the Kong subplot. Like, oh uh, yes, there's something I really. I guess respect is kind of a big word to use, but I do kind of respect the idea of this film actually kind of being able to let Kong kind of separate himself from the human characters and go on his own adventure. And you don't need a human character along for the ride to like, you know, kind of explain everything to the audience as to what he and the other monkeys are thinking or like communicating, like just having them, kind of communicate visually and you sort of get this like kind of neat subplot about him forming this bond with uh suko slash mini kong i don't know like i know it could be better but i feel like considering this is a big budget mainstream hollywood film where i shouldn't be expecting anything good i don't know i was like you know what at least there's this there's something there I'll give you that. It's one of the better parts of the movie. Yeah, because like, like I feel like in most modern mainstream Hollywood blockbusters, they're like all subplots have like characters going on their own little adventures and they're always talking. It's like, you know what? At least this subplot doesn't have any of that talking. It's all visual. Like, I don't know. I respect a movie more if it's going to have more visual storytelling than just talking storytelling. Probably because they didn't have any shitty dialogue to put over. Right, them. exactly. That's that's a huge plus. <laughs> Except when they had to. Except when they had to. Exactly. When they and actually when they went back to the human characters, then it sucks. But it's well, like the the human that didn't mean to really cut you off, but like the, no, the human ahead. characters, they just they just yap. It's yep. all they do is they just yap about what the script tells them to say. Yeah. Like one of the best examples is like uh they're, they're talking to the uh, like the ancient people, and then like uh, the Bernie guy, he's like, "Okay, so we're gonna they're gonna pour the thing in the water, and then it's gonna do yeah. this, and it's gonna you know combine these two pyramids, and it's do all." This. I'm like, "You could have, you did not need to explain it like this. You could have condensed this down to where like if it would fit naturally into dialogue, but clearly no one gave a shit when writing this, so they were just like, I have him yap about all this stuff.' So like, well, I'm the quirky podcaster. I have to say these bad jokes that people know are bad, but I still have to tell them <laughs> because." Discord, this Discord, yeah, Discord. Ghidorah stand sixty four. It's like, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, no, it's 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 obnoxious, and it's like I, you make a very good point there, Cole. You said like the script is making these characters say that. It's like the like the characters aren't progressing the story. The story is progressing the characters, and I hate that very much. Oh. Look who we got. It is oh, Daikaichi Tony himself. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there he is. There he is. All right. Uh, it's Tony, time. Uh, what are your thoughts on Godzilla Kong, the new empire? Really? It's, it's, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in agreement. <laughs> yes, I mean, but, uh, uh, but Tony, why is it stupid? Uh, how do I say this? Not, or, not or are you just stupid? <laughs> not, not, not spoiler. Not spoiler. Right, right, right. Not spoilers. Okay. Um, Not yet. Well, the movie is definitely yet, a glorified toy commercial when you really think about it, especially with Godzilla's pink form. Um, what else can I think about? Oh yeah, the the, the fight scenes. Even even for a movie that's like seventy percent fight scenes, they feel like it's the Wii version of Godzilla Unleashed, where everyone's oh <laughs> jumping around. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good analogy. I never thought of that. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, like, th 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 it's a far cry from the first two MonsterVerse movies. And hell, I'd even go to, to an extent and say even the third one where there's a sense of scale of the monsters from the camera angles and the sound design. This movie, there's only like one or two shots that make the monsters feel big. 
Yeah, I agree. See, mm -hmm. Lily, Godzilla Kong the New Empire is like the Pipeworks game, specifically the worst one. <laughs> Seriously? <Yeah. laughs> oh, I can't be the worst one. It's not Double Smash. Oh, God. I, I, I haven't played that. <laughs> <laughs> never, I never played that. <laughs> I mean, at least Double Smash didn't move at like 40 miles per hour. It only moved. It, it, moved, at, it, it moved at five. five. No, no, double smash. What it did instead is that it depleted my brain cells at four hundred miles per hour. <laughs> of course, as you do. Uh, but uh, uh yeah, be, be, before before we get into again to spoilers, uh, I w I was gonna bring up how the MonsterVerse's strongest suit by far is how like it it handles Kong as a character because I feel like. Mm. Um, uh, like when it comes to creating material for Kong himself, um, he really has the advantage compared to Godzilla because you have, uh, like, uh, like this huge extensive mythos that isn't quite elaborated upon because, uh, 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 uh sorry, not because, um, and as a result, it leaves so much room for creativity, interpretation and, and what have you. And I and, I, and, and I and I really like how Kong Skull Island, Godzilla versus Kong, and even this one takes really a really good advantage of that and gives Kong more of a spotlight uh, compared to Godzilla. I mean, obviously, Godzilla has been underused in, in these movies lately because of you know uh, whatever mandates Toho like is is you know is putting in place for for the character that would cause limitations here and there, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, Kong has easily been uh, a bit, a bit like the best part, like of uh, like of the MonsterVerse at this point. Yeah, you definitely yeah. get the feeling. You definitely, I don't know. You definitely, I, I, I'm not angry whenever Kong's on screen and it's just him like interacting with Suko. I'm just like, uh, this is nice, you know. It's I like, like it. a nice break. Yeah, you just I'll like. I feel nice. like that's like honestly the only few good parts of the movie <laughs> i like when he takes suko and he beats the shit out of those other apes using suko like it's just like yeah uh -oh. this is fun. no the uh -oh. part where he chucked him was the best part of the entire movie i mean yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Legit laugh. yeah. And, uh, 101 <laughs> it was the best joke out of anything else the movie had so there was that <laughs> and the movie's oh, God. already a joke true i mean you want me to no, the joke the is me buying the ticket <laughs> Actually, no, I'll, I'll hold off. What characters? What, char what characters? What <laughs> characters? <laughs> aren't any characters. They're just Sorry, pieces. character? <laughs> what, what is this word? <laughs> uh, well, we'll find out in the spoiler section of... Yay! <laughs> All right, we we are we are now going to discuss spoilers regarding Godzilla Kong, the new empire, which, they... in, in, which, which oh. in actuality was not new nor is it an empire it's really it, 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 it is a not very new slave camp it turns out <laughs> <laughs> it's, what is this the force awakens yeah what okay is, so uh, so just to, just to confirm the so the quote-unquote empire was supposed to be the, the bunch of monkeys they come across in uh monkey <laughs> mordor a bunch of monkeys <laughs> <laughs> a b bunch of monkeys okay. the, the little monkeys jumping on the bed yeah, the bar the barrel yeah. of monkeys they come across and <laughs> in, in monkey mordor yeah <laughs> uh, i i i i also just want to point out that that one of the international titles of this movie is godzilla kong or godzilla versus kong 2 the new kingdom not new empire that's really? even less accurate <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just like, what do you even call this movie? They just slapped a subtitle on there, like some generic subtitle. They're just yeah. like, yeah, you, you could have called yeah. this movie Godzilla X Kong Bungle Nuts or something like, you know, like... <laughs> I would have loved that. I would have seen the movie three times if it was called that. <laughs> yeah, at least we get a like more honest uh, title of what the movie actually feels like. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. so uh, where to begin? I I, I, I I honestly do not know when it comes. Uh, to well, beginning. obviously you gotta start at the beginning. Okay. All right. Um, so, so the first frame is a black screen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was the best yes. part of the movie that black screen. Yeah, it honestly oh, yeah. was. Okay. 
uh, some and, undisclosed and, and, time and, 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 and there, there, there was, there was this weird voice that said uh, uh, power over spice is power over all oh wait I'll, i'm thinking of a better movie wait what <laughs> power over spice no it starts off with nicole kidman she walks into the movie theater <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you see so bill murray uh fighting ghosts <laughs> and there's an empire in that movie too somehow oh, oh yeah the frozen one the frozen <laughs> yeah it was a really cold movie you talking about I mean, Disney? <laughs> it was the day after tomorrow, but with Ghostbusters. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. It, it, Shandy never made a sequel. All <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and uh, and and uh, while we vaguely t uh, uh, touch upon it in the non-spoiler segment, so it turns out. Uh, the, uh, 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 the, uh, these like visions that that Gia has been having regarding the the Hollow Earth uh, turns out to be a signal that is coming from the Hollow Earth, specifically oh a retcon involving the Iwi tribe that was yes. from Skull Island. Mm -hmm. what, what what are they doing in in the Hollow Earth right now? Um, They're just I, chilling. Just yeah, there. it turns out they they originated from there, and the tribe turns out it turns out they've been worshiping. Should I say? Should I say this guest monster's name? Uh, okay, right. go ahead. Go ahead. We're, we're, wow, we're spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, okay, plot twist. It turns out the E tribe are there to worship Mothra. Yeah, they're Bro. they're Mothra's tribe this whole time. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Um, uh, meaning, Ooh. meaning, uh, Doctor Chen is no longer relevant to the monster verse. Because, oh well, because, yeah. because King of the Monsters, uh, like had already established that uh, that Doctor Chen and her family are like have huge ties to Mothra, and now that that's just thrown in, in, in the garbage bin. Well, well it's know, okay, because nobody yeah, saw King it. of the Monsters, apparently. Well, you know, <laughs> since we're on the topic, I might as well mention it. Mothra's inclusion makes no goddamn sense in this movie. Like she, Because um, it was last minute. Well, because here's the thing. <laughs> oh so, okay, so apparently, from what a friend told me, apparently there was another Mothra egg that was shown in the credits in King of the Monsters. So I was like, okay, but that, okay, that, that semi tracks. Okay, fine. But then for some reason, she just shows up through by glitter somehow. And I'm like, this yeah. just completely retcons everything about King of the Monsters. I'm like, what? yeah, I asked that on my podcast. I'm like, how was she exactly born again? Because she kind of just shows up. Mothra is a final fashion summon in this game. Literally, like she's like the Bahamut of this movie. Like she just shows up, and it's she like just, oh, she just okay. materializes out of gold dust from Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Uh, like, yeah. What the hell is this? <laughs> See, there is a crossover. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And speaking of Final Fantasy, there's a giant freaking crystal that's causing that weird alarm about Scar King. Yeah, uh, crystal. Really? <laughs> yeah, giant Final Fantasy crystal. That's like the big plot MacGuffin or some crap like that. I don't know. <laughs> Now, that really explained well. Now, now you 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 see Mothra's inclusion is a reference to Abira Horror the D, where she shows up and actually uh, does whatever for the last five minutes. Yeah, oh, you mean so it's the, all with, with the cigarette butt. <laughs> to, with the cigarette butt on her, of course. I, yeah. I should have known that. <laughs> she got that cigarette from the native kid in King Kong vs. Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did they say in that movie again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't let the police don't let the police yeah. find you. Yeah, don't so, let the yeah, don't come crying to us when the police catch you. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh so uh so yeah, there's 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 some sort of prophecy in, in, in involving Gia, Gia the Iwi and, and Mothra and mm -hmm. and 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 what's what's really funny is how the movie like comes to a complete stop for like 15 minutes just to explain all of this to us. Okay, and... okay, I got a question about that. Um, Why? how much information are stored on those freaking cave walls? That that that's like a whole essay worth of expedition. Like, oh my god, that whole They're exposition like, scene. Where we did write all this down. It'll be really funny. <laughs> oh no, I was, I was falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wait, like you you get you're getting all this knowledge from just a couple like scribbles on the floor. 
that you know barely resembles a language you should barely be able to know. <laughs> well, you see, they pour like the jizz water in the thing, and then it like glows everywhere. And then I'm just like, okay. And then they're like, okay, so this is Mothra, this is Scar King, this is Shimo, and I'm just like, holy fuck! Like, how did you get? All it should have been, been that, not God knows how many minutes of exposition. <laughs> Like, well, my oh. question is my question is why were they so specific in the prophecy where they're just like oh this <laughs> kiwi girl specifically from skull island specifically this far into the future is going to birth martha and we're just specifically like, death specifically, specifically death, death. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just it's it's just like the predator you know autism yeah. is the future autism is no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's it's like one of those prophecies that like it's so specific and it's so stupid and how specific it is it's just like just i don't know if they were a little more vague in describing the prophecy then i probably would be able to take it more seriously but the fact it's just like the the specific tribe girl from the specific island specifically in the future it's just like okay how do you know that <laughs> <laughs> what kind of future seeing futureness do you have yeah <laughs> or if you can see the future then can't you see that everything works out in the end like yeah what, no what, what are you complaining about yeah the, the prophecy in godzilla versus mecha godzilla made way more sense than this <laughs> yes oh yeah let's why did godzilla need to evolve uh uh, because Shimo no can do a freeze thing apparently, and it, and even oh. though he does the thing on him, it does nothing at all really. So and also Shimo is kind of a joke in this movie also. So yeah. there's also that Godzilla <laughs> needed right. to be pink, so then they could make an epic Barbie reference. Like the same oh. thing I can say about Scar King applies to Shimo, where like after their first scene, they're not threatening at all. No, like exactly. there is no, there is zero tension in the final battle like there is no sense of like urgency or like oh maybe things can go wrong no godzilla and kong quite literally just manhandle these two and it's like especially when they get to rio it's just like yeah um, there's like, no compared, compared to the fight with mecha godzilla where like holy crap mecha godzilla is actually being the living hell out of godzilla and he needed kong but in this one i'm like okay it's not really a fair fight if shimo is not doing much on screen Look, the important thing is they go to Brazil, they meet the smiling friends. <laughs> Kong, uh, 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 Kong gets a power glove. Was oh, can we talk about the person okay. music in this movie? Oh, like, if you, when you can hear it, it's bad. No, like, okay, don't get me wrong. I, I love that Kiss song, but like, couldn't there have been a better way to implement that song in, this, in that movie? Like, I don't know, during a montage? Or not, not just, you know, Kong putting on the glove? Well, none of the music like actually reflects what's going on. You know, no, yeah. like good movie uses licensed songs. Usually they either like the the tone of the song or like what the song actually is saying actually goes with what's going on. No, no, it's just there. Yeah. Like just, it's like Adam Wingard went through Spotify and was like, Yeah, yeah that's a good song. No, that's a good song. I'll give like, Adam I this. I really want to listen that. to those those songs now because they sounded really cool. It's just they don't oh, add right. anything to the movie. Yeah, like if I was on the cutting board for like, if I had to add that specific song, that scene, I would have shown more than just Kong putting on the power glove. Like, oh, maybe people evacuating the 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 freaking the the temple or Godzilla doing something to charge up in the meantime. Yeah. Um, Davis mentioned the power glove. I think this is a good time to mention this. So like, it's so Kong so gets like is like quite literally dying for like after like getting frostbite in his hand and it's like okay Kong's like hurt and then they give him a glove i don't know what they lace that glove in because bro's like completely fine after that it's like what yeah. happened to you like dying not even three seconds ago? he got better <laughs> glove like, putting better. a robotic arm on like was the thing have you like... ever put a robotic arm on your arm okay i don't think a robotic arm is going to give me steroids where i feel zero oh, pain after you really die bro bro doesn't have a robotic arm of himself how embarrassing i'm not saying <laughs> i don't know anything <laughs> <laughs> so bad <laughs> uh, I, 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 I just want to point out that that Kong that Kong actually uses pocket sand against Godzilla in Egypt. <laughs> pocket sand. Pocket sand. sand. <laughs> <laughs> bro, chill, bro, chill. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. Why the slow motion? Uh, for what Adam, scene? Because it's Adam, cool. uh, all of them. 
Yeah, which because it's cool. It's cool. Um, Haven't you ever seen a Zack Snyder film? Well, at least it's used there well. It's not used to here well. Why? Uh, why is uh, it even uh, here? Uh, but, well, wait, but, wait, but really loves Lee, Zack Lee, Snyder. You, you said yourself that it's like Bayformers. Oh. <laughs> yeah, checkmate oh. atheists. <laughs> checkmate oh. liberals. <laughs> Of course. How can Science it be so Zilla calling the new empire? <laughs> uh, the empire of Xenu. <laughs> uh, can I talk about Bernie? Becomes a Scientologist. Oh, oh the, please go ahead. Yeah, the, the, the okay, annoying so, podcaster. Yeah, the characters in this movie. I don't like any of them at all. Like no. none. Okay, here's the thing. At well, least well, with... well, 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 Tony, they're not supposed to matter because it's a Godzilla movie. Oh my god. No, here's the yeah, thing. At, yeah. least with, at least with Godzilla versus Kong, there, there was at least two groups of characters, and if I didn't like one, I at least liked the other. This one, I just everyone's kind of despicable in this movie. You know, of all the characters they were gonna bring back, why the hell did they bring Bernie back? I didn't like him in the last movie to begin with. And like they bring him back and he's like just he's as the, annoying. He's the epic podcasting guy. He makes jokes about podcasts. He... Oh. <sighs> well, and also, like, they make a big deal about him, like, quote, saving the world. I'm like, bro, you saved the world because of an ass pool that the writers made where you pour alcohol in Mechagodzilla. And that's yeah, he didn't even worked. do that. Yeah, was, he didn't even do that. Tapwater did that. Yeah, you it, know it what? Was, it, it, it was, a stupid, it was stupid anyway. <laughs> yeah. No, the funniest thing about bringing him back is when Rebecca Hall goes to his apartment. And she's just like, remember, we met in Hong Kong. And we're like, uh, no, we don't remember that, actually. <laughs> What, five seconds? <laughs> they, they, no, they they all. no, they literally never met at all. Like there was that one shot where like they were all they like, just so happened to be at the same like spot in Hong Kong, but they never interacted. And it's just like, okay, yeah. maybe off screen they interacted. I can buy that, but it was off screen. <laughs> like you can't yeah, what, what happens to the other guy from Godzilla versus Kong? Nathan uh, um... Nathan Lind. He Nathan he Lind. was yeah. he was home sick. He, he, he <laughs> Yeah, he, 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 he sold home. his books. Yeah, he, he sold, sold his book. books. He, yeah. And he gets well, replaced by uh, Dr. What's her name again? Dr. Dentist. Yeah, yeah. The 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 other doctor's um ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Dr. Dent yeah, oh, ex-boyfriend from college. It's like, oh, we're we're very good friends from college. It's like, oh which okay. hey, you I'm can, glad they didn't that. kiss. If they did, I think I would have like just rolled my eyes and started like wishing I had alcohol to drink. No, the, the, kiss, the kiss scene in Godzilla X Kong was better. That, that one awkward kiss that came out of nowhere. Was there an awkward yeah. kiss in Godzilla versus Kong? I actually don't remember it. No, in I Godzilla like... X Kong, the new empire. Oh, that's in Godzilla right. vs. Kong, when uh, when um, Doctor Nathan gets approval to like bring Kong to the Hollow Earth, he's like, "Thank you." Then he just kisses her randomly and oh, out of okay. nowhere, like that. Like, yeah, that would have been. That's I feel like those char those two characters had more going on than whatever the hell is happening in uh, Godzilla X Kong. Well, like, Alexander Skarsgård really? didn't want to come back because he was too busy uh, living out being the Northman. <laughs> oh yeah, Northman with Anna Taylor Joy, which is yeah, the which I a real movie. movie, real movie, yeah. real a movie. real movie, the Northman. Um, I will say, like Better the most, battle. the only attempt this movie makes at trying to make character writing to some degree is with like Gia and her mom. But like, yeah. the problem is it's so like half baked to where like by the end where she's like, oh, like where we go, like we go together or something or yeah, like you're yeah. my home. Like on paper, that's a nice thing. The problem is it's not earned at all. No, it's like, not. Yeah, it's, it's feels, predictable as hell. It, I knew it, what was going to happen when you're like, oh, she had the Gia had the montage of, oh, she's getting along with people in the whole earth. Yeah. But like, yeah, she's going to come back like to Maybe her if we off. spent more time with them together, I would feel something. And it doesn't help that the movie halfway through has to be like, you know, I really feel like she belongs here. You know, like, like we, they have to spell it out to us. I'm like, oh, my yeah, God, she's we're not coming this up stupid. She's coming up with that herself. Like, Gia never says any of that. And so then when it's revealed, like, oh, I want to be with you, Mom. It's just like, oh, if they made a real cares? effort to actually make some character comments conflict i would right. give a shit but I yeah don't. the character the character conflict is told to us but it's never it never feels earned exactly like it's, yeah. it's very much like fill in the blanks when it comes yeah. to like well we gotta have like conflict or like something yeah. but like just because you write it out there doesn't mean it is felt well it wouldn't hurt when like 80 percent of your dialogue is just exposition up the wazoo oh. just so you oh yeah the <laughs> just like when godzilla like busts out in the evolved for me like godzilla's evolved 
Yeah, Godzilla's evolved. Really, evolved. I couldn't tell. <laughs> we couldn't yeah, tell. Hey, we needed to explain that to all the blind people in the movie theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I, 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 re- I really like that one five minute detour where, where, where we follow like a, like a, like a submarine just to follow Godzilla fighting Tiamat. I swear they say Tiamat like twenty times in like five minutes. Yeah, it's like yeah, Godzilla's oh. looking for Tiamat. Godzilla's Which, going like, to fight Tiamat. The Godzilla has part... killed Tiamat. Godzilla has absorbed Tiamat's radiation. Well, which, like, I don't have... I, I know people have been complaining that, like, Godzilla feels like an afterthought in this movie, which, like, that's not really that far off from other Godzilla movies, if we're going to be completely honest here. Yeah. But, like, um... Yeah. The oh, problem, just like, like how Ebura Horror the Deep was supposed to be a King Kong movie until they switched with Godzilla in the last minute, just yeah, exactly. like a Showa movie. Well, oh. okay, we're gonna get to that near the end because oh, I'm gonna lose my shit during that. But um, the what I was saying is like uh, the problem is when he does get evolved, it's like it just it doesn't really feel like he needed it. Yeah, yeah. The, fearsome, the fearsome Godzilla has evolved. Oh, well, they made a point where it's like, what he said, like Godzilla like single handedly fought these things, and then like he t- put him in the Hollow Earth. And I was like, okay, so apparently the reason he needs is because of Shimo. But I'm like, Shimo barely does anything to him during the fight. Like he really oh, didn't uh, need that much effort to fight oh, yeah. Shimo. Hey, can I comment about something? Godzilla's a f- he's a shitty king in the monster verse because okay, so <laughs> end of the king end of King of Monsters, all these monsters are bowing down to him, like okay, and all of a sudden this movie opens with him fighting that one spider it's, guy. Sell off. So I'm like, wait, whatever happened to I thought you know those thing things went well between those two. Like, okay, yeah. and all of a sudden Tiamat is just like minding her own business, and Gaza just like breaks in and kills her for her energy. I'm like, wait, wait, I thought Gaza was supposed to be a good guy in these movies. Nope. It's it's funny because that it can directly contradicts Cotton's credits. Yeah. yeah. And like even more so, like the prequel novel, a uh, prequel comic to uh Godzilla versus Kong, uh Godzilla Dominion. Uh which funny I mentioned those comics since we we're talking about Tiamat. Um if they're making that canon, that would technically mean the Kong one is canon. And in that one, you see the Iwi get on uh like aquatic vessels to escape Skull Island. Okay, so maybe there the, might be some Ewies out there that the world yeah, might not. But, maybe but, maybe but that, that mute the, guy in your neighborhood is an, an Ewie well, person. You see, well, the, DC. Well, you see, the movie the, the says big, that they're dead. Well, yeah. the, the big issue is that as these movies go on, they're obviously just making this shit up as they go. No. And it's very obvious because all these movies retcon each other in some capacity. Like it's really yeah, kind of like the freaking live action Resident Evil movies. Yeah, it's starting to sound like the DCEU at this point. It's just like, no, this is the canon now. No, this is the canon now. No, this is the canon now. We don't know what we're doing anymore. Oh yeah, that yeah. Uh, that, uh, that that handprint on the side of the mountain in Skull Island. That's not Kong, even though we clearly saw his hand get sliced up from helicopter rotors. It's Scar King oh. the whole time. Yeah. Really? Oh, God. Don't ruin that movie for me. <laughs> no, uh, they already did. As, as if, yeah, as if GXK didn't already do so for me. <laughs> I Since uh, we just mentioned Scar King, I will say his first scene, unironically, is probably my favorite scene of the movie. If I, like, really had to think about it, I would say I, I do kind of like that scene. Like, you know, it's it has some good lighting. Uh, yeah. There's some appropriate like you know tension it felt like this was the one scene they really tried i like uh, how much of a bitch he is he's just like yeah he's like, he's i, I kind of like, like <laughs> he walked out doing the jojo pose i was like okay that's kind of funny <laughs> and then uh when he like drop kicked that one guy in the lava yeah. pit that made me laugh <laughs> so, some guy described, I, f- I forget where i saw this but somebody described them as like this movie's version of bradley uppercrust the third from the extremely mm-hmm. goofy movie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like uh like it's like it's a pretty decent scene because like i actually felt like maybe scar king would actually matter because like you know he actually puts up a pretty decent fight with kong and then he like just gives him the middle finger and just shoots like shimo's beam at him yeah, like yeah. stuff like that's fine but it's like after that there is no threat with him after that like he Never just kind of yeah no because- yeah like when you find out, oh oh Shimo, this whole time she's being controlled by a magic crystal that comes out of nowhere. Honestly, I'm like, okay, so Shimo's not really an antagonist then. Yeah, how does that crystal work exactly? Yeah, the magic lizard. 
I <laughs> I don't know. They don't explain how like that entirely works, but like uh, it's the thing he does. I mean, maybe they did and I missed it, but like yeah. he just points the thingy and he's like, "Do it." Yeah, but Shima's just like, "Okay." It's like it, it, this. It feels like it's leaning a little bit too much on the Final Fantasy influence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, but, a disrespect, uh, that's a disrespect on final fantasy at least as a story <laughs> well which one i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm but, playing uh, right now i'm enjoying it uh but my like big issue though is just like during the, again like during the final fight it's like skirking like barely does anything like he just yeah. kind of gets his ass kicked the entire time and the same can go for Shimo, because mm-hmm. and it also doesn't help that during the final battle, I could not tell what the hell was going on during most of Dude, it. Dude, that's yeah. yeah, that's where I'm just that's what I was talking about earlier. How it's just like not only is the sound mixing horrible, like I can't hear anything, the visuals are just awful in that like, fi- especially in the final Rio battle. It's like what the hell is even happening? Like right there's now? Like, uh, like only one of- shot of that fight that looked decent and it's the only one that you have a sense of scale. It's when Gazel's like pushing Shimo into a building. That's it. And that shot's like only what four seconds? Uh for me, like I I remember back in the day, you King the Monsters a lot of shit for it's like really bad, like shit he cam. And I still agree with that. But like this is like kind of a whole different sort of thing where it's like it's not shaking, but it's like everything is so fast. I cannot tell what is going on. And that final battle is by far like where the weight issues really become apparent. Because when they're like doing the gravity shit too, I'm just like, this just I I'm, I at I, least remember like shots from I remember parts of the final battle in Cotton because yeah. that like one of my favorite shots in anything and like any movie from the MonsterVerse is when Godzilla like comes up to Ghidorah and totally smashes them into the into the John Hancock Center in Boston. Oh, it's like th- yeah, that shot was awesome. That's a Thank really you. awesome shot, and like that really, it, like you felt the weight of the building, you felt the weight of Ghidorah, you felt the weight of Godzilla. It was like it was it was perfect. Yeah, we, didn't, we don't get anything that's close to that in this movie. Yeah, no. yeah, like King of the Monsters still has weight, but my issue with it is like there's still times where it's just the shaky cam's bad or like yeah. whatever Mothra and Rodan were fighting. Like there's a shot to this day I do not know what happened in it. It's like they're like <laughs> flying through the street, and I, I guess that's what they're doing, but like yeah. I can't. But tell at least happening. at least Cotton has those shots. Like there's something there where yeah. it's like, what the hell does this movie have? Yeah, because like, well, at least King of the Monsters attempted to have scale, even if yeah. they did kind of fumble it a lot. Yeah. This movie just straight up refused to have it, which like yeah. I know some people are gonna be like, oh, but you see, the show with movies, they're moving pretty fast too. I'm like, yeah, but you know what they made up with it? Their cinematography. They actually yeah. like yeah. attempted to still shoot at low angles and try to like at least to some degree have scale. Right. Even fucking Megalon had like some understanding of this. Yeah, but yeah, like, this because movie like, just if he... doesn't have it. Yeah, because you know, if if you can't if you can't you know make monsters move fast around cities look convincing, just do it in like a plain field with trees. That you know that still does the job a lot better than what this movie did. Yeah, I'm it, starting. It, I'm starting to think the guy who made Death Note and Blair Witch doesn't know how to direct movies. Well, okay, I thought we pity that Adam too, Wingard honestly. to this day. I mean, has never made a good movie. So, <laughs> I mean, he's probably good at directing toy commercials. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's it's a it's 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 interesting that Godzilla vs Megalon is brought up because a lot of the quote unquote goofiness or wackiness of the Showa films is completely by necessity. To put it in perspective, an, uh, another Toho film that came out the same year as Megalon was Submersion of Japan, and when you watch that movie, like. You you can hardly believe it came out in 1973 because of just how well executed the miniatures, like just the effects overall, the cinematography. Oh yeah, the character dynamics. Like it's like it's it's it, it like it's truly a masterpiece through and through. Hmm. Like at the time, if Toho could, every Godzilla movie like in the 70s, like would have been a submersion of Japan, but they. They just couldn't. Mm-hmm. However, oh, Godzilla, okay. Godzilla Kong, the new empire is a modern day blockbuster with a mega budget from a much bigger studio. And it and it just and it's just lacking in comparison. Uh, I, you say the show a thing. I feel like this is the perfect time to bring it up. One of the big things about when this movie is was coming out and when it came out. 
is the oh it's the showa homage like look guys let's send the same gif of godzilla doing the tail slider flying a million times on twitter like ah guys get it because that's all this franchise is especially in the showa <laughs> i think people forget that even though showa has that i think a lot of people forget that they were still earnest when they made those movies and there's like an actual theme and like you know like there's a message they're trying to get across like in it's a like lot of these movies movie. yeah yeah but like <laughs> Granted, GXK tries to have a theme with like found family, I guess, is Does kind it? of what they went I for. I guess so. <laughs> but like, that's what I mean, attempt. But yeah. like, at least in the show movies, I can at least tell, like, even if I don't like a movie, like, for example, uh, like Hedora or something, like, I'm not huge on the movie, but even that still had an earnest message to say. Yeah. But like, mm. I don't get that with this movie no. at all. No. It, again, it just feels hollow. Feels and hollow. It really makes me upset when people just only put the show a series with just the goofy moment. Because I'm like, you do realize that these movies had actually something to say, and a lot of these movies had actual characters that I could give a damn about. But uh this movie doesn't have any of that. It's just big flashy action sequence after flashy action sequence with no real care put in between it. See, the so. show era is like the one era I've actually seen all the Godzilla movies from. And so I can definitely comment and say that the Showa era is far better than this movie in every way because I like, yeah, like you said, there are movies I don't remember fondly from that era, but I could, I definitely, there's definitely movies from that era that I do think of fondly. So like that, cause they had like, they had definitely had a goofy tone to them, but it was, yeah, you're right. There was a lot more earnest. Uh, Hal, uh, I, I, uh, I I forget who said exactly uh, in your episode, but one of y'all mentioned that uh, Godzilla Kong: The New Empire is exactly what the original King Kong versus Godzilla was making fun of. Yeah. Oh my god. That. Oh, that's that's peak. Oh my god. <laughs> See, that's the thing with like that episode is like I said, I came away not really liking any of the movies we talked about on that episode. I do have. A respect for the original Japanese King Kong versus Godzilla, just because mostly because Lily went into extraordinarily de- extraordinary extraordinarily amount of detail into that movie. But the, I do have a newfound respect for that version because you know there was a vision there, there was something to say there. You know, did it all come together nicely in the end? Yes and no, but like I at least respect the vision there. Whereas like the American King Kong versus Godzilla awful boring movie king kong or godzilla versus kong r- really boring uninspired movie this one ugh, like, like uh, even more so like i watched invasion of astro monster a few days ago because i was really bored and uh i've always hailed that as like the best one that isn't 54 i know that's probably a hot take to some but i genuinely mm-hmm. think it's good and like again it's a wacky movie like they go to space and shit and Godzilla's doing like dancing but like even still it's got a really good story like there's a lot to it and there's characters i care about and godzilla is barely in the damn movie hey, but like i don't minutes. care because yeah. the movie is so solid entertaining throughout i'm never bored and yeah. in this movie even when the monsters are on screen i just don't care no. like they just show up and then they fight but the fight isn't really that good to begin with because again the just the way it's presented and the way it's animated just feels so wrong to me so like and yeah someone just mentioned gmk that's another good movie to bring up when it has like solid themes and story so like uh yeah with stuff like that i really just i don't know it, this movie just feels so hollow and i feel like that's <laughs> i got it's really bad this movie is very much peak like whenever people are just like oh you're supposed to turn your brain off when you watch a movie like this it's just like ugh. I hate I hate that excuse for just, movies. Just, just don't think about it. Anything. Yeah, just don't think no. about it. It's just, just like just okay, don't, don't let not, movies be good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not thinking about it. And guess what? I'm still not enjoying myself. This movie sucks. Like <laughs> movies can be not the best and still be entertaining. Like I can, I, oh, I've I've had I could give you like a plenty of movies that are not very good, but this I, movie doesn't even go hard on mute. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> it, it's, it's not even ironically bad. It's just boring at the end of the day yeah uh that show up part um it definitely rubs me off because like the show of films at for first and foremost are movies and they have they're never like the same movie 
they explore like a specific genre. Like Hedora is not in uh guy getting explore pollution, but they explore it in very radically different fashions. Um or like all monsters attack uh is like uh, a like a kid growing up in industrial Japan and how does he cope when his parents basically can't raise him and he has to do all the maturing on his own or you have Megalon however the quality of the movie that it is <laughs> it still has like an exploration of uh the type of like thematic uh well I guess maybe that's a hard word to say for the movie um there's like, an attempt at least <laughs> yeah like prob problematicy of uh how it approaches the nuclear aspect of that movie aside um it's still a movie like the what makes a godzilla movie is that it's a movie first and then godzilla shows up uh and then there you go like yeah. the the fights don't make the movie like they can be a part of the major driving force of the movie, but they aren't all it is. Mm -hmm. You, my, the point A and point B can involve the monsters, but it shouldn't be all that it is. Yeah. Like even, um, like Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. There's like a clear cut, uh, reason for like the monsters to be involved into the even the human plot. Like it whole it wholly centers around an alien invasion. And they specifically designed the monster uh, after the strongest monster that the planet has. So that way they can essentially replace the monster with their own. Since the people already in some form fear that monster. So having one that can't even feel empathy is even worse. Or Terra Mechagodzilla is essentially like a movie with a lot of like feminist themes of uh br of breaking out of an abusive relationship with uh the men in your life like your father who uses you to enact revenge on people who wronged him uh or a bunch of random people who are essentially removing your humanity to make you an object um like there's clear like importance to things that are in those movies and like sure it can be goofy but the goofiness is literally just like maybe a scene everything yeah. else is played very straight like yeah. godzilla versus hedora like the only goofy bit of that movie is godzilla and even then besides maybe the flight scene godzilla's still more or less acting how he normally does he's not like some superhero like sure he's a little bit more feline-ish in his movements or he'll like look directly at the humans but like you don't get a sense that like they're doing it because oh uh it's a and uh, a great review by my friend uh dylan said it best is that it's not like a frat boys godzilla God, uh, and this is a very good point about how Wingard portrays Godzilla. When these movies don't portray Godzilla as the cool lizard who shoots beam, and that's cool. Uh, Godzilla is much more than he breathes a fire breath out of his mouth. Uh, he is still very much uh, an animal or a character in himself that feels and emotes but he doesn't over emote in a way that's similar to how this movie does it where he'll like raise his eyebrow in such an in like a humane way and it's extremely distracting because <laughs> you wonder to yourself i don't think the model is supposed to do that <laughs> like that's a big thing about wingard's godzilla movies is that you can tell Godzilla's model is not made for anything that he makes him do. Like it's oh, like the way he runs. <laughs> yeah, like, he's the, like, like his face is like facing like forward, and yeah, then his he, neck upwards. <laughs> yeah, like Godzilla runs like a person in uh, his movies, 
and like you can criticize like how Godzilla runs and like caught him and even in 2014 when he charges at the female Muto he's still charging like how a dinosaur would like he's not like swinging his arms uh like oh. a person does when they run uh, all of a sudden he, he turns bipedal not bipedal but basically he's he's also like using his hands to run too yeah <laughs> like even when he, if he does and like say terror of mecha godzilla it's like in a way that makes sense for how his arms are structured like it's like waving like side to side which is something that probably wouldn't be too atypical for like maybe like a mammal to do but it's not human Mm -hmm. you don't you wouldn't expect a human to run at something with like their hands their fists constantly bumping at their chest as they do it i do it all the time <laughs> i'm sure you do that's how i run the class every day <laughs> yeah I, I bet you do but like you know even like the lesser entries in the show era like and i can bring this back to the soundtracks is that they still have like a memorable score mm. or like a track you remember. Mm -hmm. Like even with yeah. all monsters, all monsters attack. Like you remember the, the main uh, the motif for the movie, which is used in the opening song for all monsters attack. Yeah. That one. Like you remember that. Or like you remember the dun 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 dun. Remember that one? That's the one. Yeah, exactly. I still have the. I still have the native chant from King Kong versus Godzilla stuck in my head. Yeah, like nice. There's, there's like songs and even like the weakest entries that you'll remember, but here <laughs> excuse me heavens um <laughs> there's a there's something that you'll attach to and if you're thinking of a something that stands out to you, you'll mention that track here there's nothing that you can really mention as like a memorable track yeah you can well, okay here's you, the thing the with no, both G, G Godzilla versus Kong and GSK soundtrack, I thought the main theme for Godzilla was originally, you know, supposed to be Mecha Godzilla's theme, but no, it's Godzilla's theme here on forth. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that kind of, ugh, whatever, <laughs> kind of makes it less impactful, but whatever. I mean, like even then, like, uh, someone probably is going to bring up Terror of Mecha Godzilla. Like even then, there's like a clear difference, uh, in how. If Akube uh, drew, uh, wrote the composition and like what it moves in its rhythm and its pacing, uh, how many mm -hmm. notes it has, what point does it like uh, hit a higher note or what point does it hit a lower note? Um, you can tell the difference in that soundtrack from when it's Godzilla and it's Mecha Godzilla, right? Or when it's supposed to represent like something close to those two, but. With this, with Godzilla Kong, it's like the music's there, but it's not, it doesn't even feel like it's part of the movie, let alone you could even make it out. Yeah. Like, does anybody yeah. here, like, can remember any specific, like, even a light motif from this movie that you remember? No. Nope. Like, nope. Only nope. track from these movies I recommend, uh, I mean, the only track from these movies I recognize is Dun. Dun, 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 dun. That, that's it. That's like oh, the yeah, title like, from G GVK. That's the only thing I can semi remember is like the title of GVK is like that's like the music during that. It's the only thing I can remember. Yeah, yeah. The only reason I, I remember that is is Chris made a bunch of memes with it. That's the exact reason I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, like, the dun 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 dun. Yeah, dun, yeah. dun. <laughs> Death Note two. <laughs> Which would have been a way better movie. But, uh, yeah, I, I do want to. I do want to go back on an earlier point that you said because it was a good point. Like, uh, there's nothing wrong with like what, like liking the monster fights, and like if you're if you're really there to see them, that's fine. Like, I don't ha have like an inherent issue with it. It's more so like when you try to say like, well, the rest of the movie doesn't matter to that. I'm like, well, that's just 
going against base like just basic movie making at that point like you're really telling me you only want like 30 percent of your movie to actually matter and like the rest of well like, at that point garbage. yeah well at that point like why are you watching the movie just wait for the clips to go up on youtube to watch those because i can fully admit when i was like younger and i was like first watching a lot of these movies like yeah I, I i cared about godzilla for the most part like i think a lot of people did when they were younger but then to get all up in arms about it as an adult i feel like that's just I don't know. I, I find that really wrong. I'm like, there's something wrong with you. Don't need to dismiss legit criticism because you like a fight scene. Like, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Like, I can think of a good movie, like, uh, like, uh, Revenge of the Fallen. I think the movie sucks ass, but like that forest fight's great. But that doesn't mean the movie's good, <laughs> right? Yeah. Or if you're gonna love a bad movie, like, I don't know. I feel like, like, there should be more than one scene you're actually like thinking fondly of to like return to that film you know yeah, like yeah if i have to sit through an hour of shit just to get to one good scene like no yeah. like mega yeah. gears is a good movie for me where i think the movie is absolute dog water but the final fight's pretty okay like yeah. i can tolerate that yeah but i'm not gonna parts. sit through an hour just to get to that <laughs> i might have talked about it on the on my episode but like faust love of the damned i love that movie with all my heart. oh my god <laughs> i recommend the hell out of it it's not very good I mean, but man i love it he, yeah. Have you read the comics? I have not read the comics, but I want to. Yes. I'm I'm the guy. But I'm but listen, I know the movie is a vastly different uh experience than the comics. I can already tell. Yeah, well yeah, I'm not gonna get into it. You're oh, not gonna get into oh, well explain to me this. Is Tit Puddle in uh the comics? I think so. If I oh, 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 oh it's not gonna be the same, I can tell you that. Oh, so uh, this this is semi related. Um, out of curiosity, has uh, has anyone here seen the live action Saint Seiya movie or Knights of the Zodiac? No, no, we don't not me. Shit about this not. anime bullshit. We don't care about. <laughs> yeah, it. animation is not cinema. Animation's yeah. true. Babies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> babies, Sorry, and children. Uh, okay, so uh, so I I bring this movie up because I I recall seeing it in the theater. Th uh, thinking that the movie's only saving grace were the fight scenes, and and I was I was talking to uh, our good friend Andres, aka Kaiju Noir, about it because Andres likes Saint Seiya but is not interested in the movie. I basically told him that you're better off just watching the fight scenes on YouTube. But here's the thing: I went back to watch the fight scenes on YouTube, and they looked even worse than what I remember. I feel, oh, God. I, I, I feel, I feel like, the, I feel like the same thing is going to happen with this movie. Yeah. Well, why did you mention Andres? Nothing he's into is good. Okay. Like, let's be real. <laughs> this is also true. You know, that reminds me of when back in 2021, uh, when I watched the Mortal Kombat movie, uh, where I was just like, huh. This kind of sucks, but I feel like if I watch that Sub Zero fight like on YouTube, that's probably going to be the only thing I'm going to love. But like now that you mentioned that, maybe if I go back and watch that one clip on YouTube, I'm probably going to think that this sucks. So like, <laughs> wow. Oh god, Mortal Kombat was one of the funniest movie experiences. This movie sucked, but like, yeah. nothing was funnier <laughs> than hearing like raiden say my name i was like what the hell this is the weirdest situation. <laughs> yeah. i think the i think the 90s movie was far funnier but oh yeah, yes I love, my long run. yeah hey, at least the fight scenes in that one are pretty okay <laughs> they were actually were pretty cool and then annihilation well that just had the greatest line read of all time <laughs> <laughs> too bad you mother will die. you're alive <laughs> <laughs> No, my favorite scene is when Raiden's fighting those two guys in like a hallway or something, and they're just doing flips the entire oh, those, time. Those, Love that scene. Those they're, two they're doing backflips guys, yeah. in the movie theater. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, I'll I'll stand oh, back, oh, stand oh, oh. Or how oh, this? It's my animality. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. We're, what movie were you supposed to be talking about again? <laughs> uh, um, Look, those movies uh, are more fun to talk about. Annihilation. No, we're, we're talking oh. about we're talking about Faust Love of the Damned. Oh, well, of course, uh, of course. Knights of the Zodiac, best movie ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, I am so sorry. We should be talking about Madam Web instead. Uh, oh, the, yes. The, the no, true, the true best movie of twenty twenty four. No, I can't. We, no. Was there anything else? We no more Pepsi. To touch on? Oh. Like what regarding what Knights of the Zodiac or Madam Web? No, no, you know the actual movie we came here for. <laughs> oh, I didn't come here for that. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, it's good. To 
it, okay, so it's good that Davis brought up Madam Web because I was thinking about the Pepsi product placement. I'm like, wait a minute. There's in Godzilla X Kong, there's a freaking whole Volkswagen shot. <laughs> the, the fucking oh, Volkswagen yeah. car being more prominent in the shot than either of the characters when they're trying to have a moment. Oh, that was uh, the funniest I, shit. I, I <laughs> so hard in the I theater. was like, I was like, they're not even trying anymore. It's like you gotta try somewhat, you know? Like, come yeah, on. Yeah, come on. Right. The dunk <laughs> Come on, the Duncan ads were better. Yeah, the Duncan ads were better. <laughs> oh, there is something I want to say. Um, so this is a pet peeve I've had ever since King of the Monsters, really. You're telling me that this franchise started in like 2014 modern day technology, right? How in the hell in like a decade or so did we go from standard basic technology to like we have Star Wars vehicles now? Like I that stuff yeah. still just blows my mind. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, not we, not we, not just that, but like, oh, we could now like copy and download power sources like it's Star Trek. <laughs> it's funny, uh, because I I brought this up on uh the Too Many Movies episode, but that's like a very bad reference to Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla. No, if you were, if you remember, uh, when they had to send more energy to um, Mechagodzilla, uh, so that way uh, Akane oh, yeah. could do the manual piloting, and how they do it is they send uh -huh. it uh, through microwaves, uh, through a satellite, and it beams into the heron, and then into uh, Mechagodzilla's spines, and you see it light up. Mm -hmm. But in Godzilla versus Kong, it's just download. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could just copy the formula minerals. that, you know, makes this power source. <laughs> yeah, like, they don't even, like, show them, like, downloading the genetic, like, breakdown of it or, like, how it's made up. It's just, there it is. Hey, they just need, they um, need a more dedicated yeah. wham. Yeah, for uh, the show of, uh, yeah. for the show of, uh. I will say there was one. Okay, so apparently I feel like I just missed something. I thought the ship that they went in was specifically designed so it can tolerate the Hollow Earth like uh like portal thing but i guess you can just put anything in it because bro just showed up with the glove and that other rinky dink sort of like ship anyway so i'm like am i missing something i could have sworn they said like you need a specific kind of ship to get in the hollow wars to begin with like, uh, am i missing something don't worry uh, don't worry about it don't worry about it don't think about it <laughs> no Shut look up. monkeys yeah, fighting. Just turn, turn your brain off turn your turn brain your bra off turn your brain off yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I just can't have fun with a movie anymore. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Don't, you just hate yeah, fun. You, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, I should just delete my uh, my Instagram and everything. And just, you should you know, delete uh, yourself. Yeah, I should. Yeah, yeah. I, I should. I should game in myself. <laughs> yeah, for, uh, it, yeah. Yeah. Not like having children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess. <laughs> in game, of course. In game. Yeah. It, yeah. In game. In Minecraft. You two, please don't track this down. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, uh, anything else we uh, we uh, we want to mention before we wrap it up? Oh, one. Thoughts? Hold on, hold on. I just remembered something. Oh, do you remember the gator snake? No. Wait, the what? That was the thing they fought in the water. Uh, oh, that. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Is, what, what, well, yeah, what? yeah, hmm. yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, it's Kong yeah, the part, thing that right? the yeah, thing yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thing that Suko tried to uh, get Kong killed with. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that, oh that, you that, just that, reminded me of something. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, that you watched the movie. No, 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 no. <laughs> the nut man, though. <laughs> no, you reminded me of something big that I I've, I've noticed with this movie. There is so much inconsistency in terms of scale or like size. Just are you good, are you going to talk about the fucking the bone bridge? There's that, and then, no. like, um, another thing is, like, there's a shot of Kong's, like, axe, like, landing in front of Suko, and that thing looks tiny as hell, and then the next <laughs> shot, it's, like, massive again. I was like, I thought you were going to say his ass. Oh, uh, well, okay. <laughs> the size of his ass does matter in between the shots, okay? Of course, yeah, yeah. Like, but th there's so many shots where I'm like, you look three times smaller in this shot compared to the next one. Like, what the hell happened? <laughs> but, but yeah, but the whole size thing, you're right. Like when they were going to to Monkey Mordor and there was like that bone bridge <laughs> and that fucking like that, like the bones of like this prehistoric creature that's like four times bigger than Kong. And my my friend Bamison pointed that out on the podcast episode. He's like, what the hell was that? That was so fucking big. And we're like, <laughs> It's dead because it was too big to live, you know, yeah. because it was four times bigger than Kong. Well, it's just that's one of my issues with Hollow Earth in general. Yeah, there's no more around here. Well, it's just one of my issues with Hollow Earth is just like 
when you put them in Hollow Earth, they de- like when you compare like these things are already big enough as is, right? But then you put them in this, and they like in terms of the human scale, it's like they don't. I don't know. They just don't feel big at all. Like you no. could still make them feel big, but they just give up on that in this movie. Yeah. So like it, they're just normal sized monkeys at that point. Yeah, and even when they're in the cities, they still shoot them the same way. And I'm like, yeah. this just looks way worse. Oh, yeah. oh, th- that reminds me. They say that Chimo <laughs> caused the uh, both ice ages. Oh yeah. But um, why didn't why didn't like the Rio fight take place while like the ice age was starting? I don't know. <laughs> they said, uh, uh, they, said don't they, worry caused, they caused the ne- they caused the first ice age. Yet I don't remember seeing them in any of the ice age movies. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah, call yeah. bullshit on that. Yeah, yeah, and, and Manny's in these movies too, or at least one of them. Manny's Behemoth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's Manny versus Shimo in Ice Age Six? Now that's Ooh. a movie. Well, Ice Ooh. Age Seven, Ice Age Six yeah. already came out. Oh, I'm sorry. Unless we don't count Buck, Buck the Wild Adventures of Buck, which I I completely understand. Uh... <laughs> Am I the only one who remembers that movie? It I don't I remember it. No, I don't remember saw it. He said it was one of the worst things he's ever seen in his life. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. It's 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 real bad. Oh yeah, what are we talking about again? Uh, mm. uh, uh, oh, uh, how, I, I want uh, how Suko is is about as tall, if not taller, than Kong and Kong. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh oh yeah. my god. I, I will give the movie a slight bit of credit. I kind of liked that Godzilla liked the the Roman. Like uh, the Coliseum, Coliseum. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Godzilla, that was, Godzilla yeah. sleeping in the Coliseum is pretty based. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I thought much. it was charming for once. It, I felt yeah. something during yeah. this movie. It was, was cute. Like, oh. Which oh yeah, mm-hmm. I never it, thought I'd describe a Godzilla film as cute. It's it's funny time. how like uh, and from what we know from the novel, it's because it reminds him of his home, uh, in Cotton. And I'm like, wow, I wish the movie told me that. Yeah. Yeah. Instead yeah, of Sarah's yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish the movie told house, us that. Yeah, wish the movie told us that instead of exposition about oh, Gia is the one who will summon Mothra like a Final Fantasy summon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Godzilla. Godzilla's changed. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Also in that scene, um, you can see Godzilla's tail uh, breaking off the model. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you could you could see, you could see it in the trail in the uh, the trailers too. Like oh, his no tail way. is like openly off model. I'm gonna. Have oh, hey, yeah, and uh, it's like snaps. Uh, and also, uh, there's a uh, Chris C. Guns art. Um, it's oh, yeah, cute, I guess. Um, it's not a good person. Uh, uh and uh, sh- uh, exactly. Uh. I will say there was there was a thing uh, when this movie was coming out when people were like, "No, guys, the CGI will be finished when the movie comes out." The specific mm-hmm. shot I'm bringing up is like the one where he like comes out of the iceberg and he's like roaring to the sky. That shot looked very unfinished in the trailer. The final shot of the movie it looks no different from the trailer. It looks just as unfinished. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that like, doesn't surprise me. <sighs> yeah, but like people were trying to say that, and I'm like, no, the effects still look very hit or miss on this entire movie. Guys, it's okay. Especially when Gaza's running and his head looks like it's jittering. No, I think the worst shot for me was uh I think it was the part where he like dove in the water. That shot looked like it barely was finished. Oh <laughs> well it, it was in slow-mo. <laughs> yeah. Well it was like it was like the far away <laughs> shot. Like Godzilla looked like he was in a different plane of existence. I was like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh and- yeah. Um <laughs> that reminds me, uh Godzilla has very different various forms in this movie. Why? The thermonuclear uh, Godzilla. Wow, he's blue. I guess <laughs> if you remember yeah. uh, the Kadam behind the scenes where they show uh, how his uh, thermonuclear form w- w- works, um, I guess if you remember that, that's cool. But um, why are we doing it? You haven't even made a toy out of it. Um, yeah. There hasn't I been guess. a Minecraft Puppet <laughs> Steve unboxing of it. And like, I guess it's a free excuse to do the nuclear pulse, you know. Something mentioned in GVK's opening credits that he doesn't do in that movie, <laughs> just like the dorsal slice. He do it in the final fight. He, he he like the dorsal slice. If you remember that from the uh, the GVK like abilities list for Godzilla, he can do that. Uh-huh. 
it, I guess they're referring to the part where he his spines cut through uh, a bunch of navy vessels, which he could do probably do that anyway. He already he has count. done that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like wow it's f brilliant it's hey remember um when godzilla's uh dorsal spine sliced uh megagirus's arm off and uh godzilla versus megagirus <laughs> yeah that that was a dorsal slice um i guess you know, <laughs> yeah oh yeah who directed that movie again uh oh <laughs> masaki tezuka a guy who can make movies I... <laughs> You can make I guess since movies. you you mentioned the uh, the evolve for where do we stand on it? I think that's a good topic. Um, it's a cool toy. It's a it's a cool <laughs> toy, but it's probably one the one of the worst Godzilla designs I've ever seen. He's I don't hate okay. it. I I hate the way it was animated. The way it moved was so weird. I think it's a it's something that looks good as a two D image when you don't yeah. see his snatched waist. Yeah. yeah, I can agree with that. I know it takes away a lot of the uniqueness from the monster vs. Gaza design. Like, okay, so he's not as heavy in, anymore. Uh, spikes are even bigger. Uh, Maybe he's brighter looking, as if Monster vs. Gaza didn't already like glow like a Christmas tree. Another kid with a bright future lost to steroids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Godzilla takes trend. <laughs> he was no Godzilla was just getting high the entire movie. I mean, did you see the way he was vaping through like the fucking like nuclear yeah. reactor? Like, dude, he was smoking a massive bong. Uh, I mean, I'm like, I, guess... I love that. I love that scene in the in the uh, the French nuclear reactor. How like you see these like human characters like driving up, but you never see their faces. They're just like these faceless random people that are just like <laughs> Godzilla. He's he's sucking up all the nuclear energy. It's like thanks. I'm glad you guys were there to tell yeah, and, oh, yeah. And then they're like, oh yeah. Yeah, we can't do anything. Oh, Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, like, but like for some reason, we needed to see Godzilla suck up radiation into his mouth. I it's weird because like we've seen Godzilla like do that in like Godzilla eighty four, but like he doesn't do it like yeah. that. He just grabs it and he just absorbs it. Like or two you know, like, like his his body just takes it in. He's not like inhaling it. Yeah, he's he's not inhaling it like how Gamera like inhales like fire in the show of gamma series or like uh i mean even the hasty ones where he in absorbs it you don't see him like use his mouth it's just implied that he does it through visual it's it sucks is what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> i agree he's right he's I right just... I just missed the 2014 design, man. They were cooking with that, and then they made it a little worse with King of the Monsters, and now it's just, uh, yeah, now he's just this. <laughs> no more. I'm sick of Godzilla. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess for the third movie, because uh, I guess we're really going to get one. Are so, we? Are we 65% well, 65 drop in the box office? Yeah. Are we? Well, here's the thing. Oh, man. We're probably going to make a third one. For some hearing about this. Well, if they do make a third one, <laughs> besides them wanting to fix everything, as we've all just described, is there's like anything you would want them to do that would make it slightly better? Make a movie. <laughs> make a movie. Um, like, like, just just care, please. Make it not Zilla 2. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. he, he's been saying stuff about destroy us, so there's that. <laughs> oh, oh god, that hey. interview, it just sounds so cynical. It sounds like he doesn't even understand the movie he's talking about. Well, like, oh, hey, I want <laughs> look, if they yeah. kill Godzilla, I'd be laughing. I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Ooh, I would <laughs> yeah, love that. gets killed off after two minutes of screen time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At the very yeah, like Johnny Cage yeah. and Annihilation. I want to be now or something. <laughs> that would be great. I would love it. Yeah, that. and Godzilla's still like the first name of the title. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He dies and then it still says Godzilla. Oh, dude, that'd be the funniest shit ever. I would laugh. So <laughs> Godzilla, <hard. come> on. <laughs> Godzilla fucking dies. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so weird because, like, he says that if you were to do another one, it'd be Godzilla focused. But it's like, what have you actually done with Godzilla? Yeah, he's oh, like no, a. It would be, he's, yeah, he's, well, first he's of all, first of all, 
Godzilla focused in quotation marks there. Like, what does that mean, dude? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Godzilla mm-hmm. hasn't had much character. You're not going to have Kong I mean, in it then, I guess? No, he would have Kong because that, that gets asses in the seats. But and, uh, Yeah, uh, 65% drop well, in the well, box like, office. Godzilla just hasn't had much of like a character in these two movies. Like it, it, In this one, they try to, like with him like and Kong, and then Mothra's like, no, guys, stop fighting. And he's like, oh, I guess I shouldn't. Look, but, yeah, like, I'll, I'll say this. Godzilla if, just comes off as a prick in this movie. I'll say this. If they are going to make another Godzilla film, and this one's quote-unquote Godzilla-focused, I would love for Godzilla to get the Kong treatment where he gets, you know, scenes to himself where he's not interacting with human characters or human characters are not present trying to explain to the audience what's happening. Like, have it be purely visual. I know for a fact that they're not going to do that because that's too difficult because, you know, that requires them to care. So I'm not going to hold my breath out for that. But Mm -hmm. that would be nice if they tried that. It's it's funny because like months prior to this, we got Monarch Legacy of Monsters and that felt more like Godzilla where he's just doing his thing. Uh, and then here it's just here's what a, a typical American thinks of Godzilla. Uh, he breathes fire. Uh, he's mean. He has a tail. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, like the Godzilla's yeah. entire screen time was was just his montage in Final Wars. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. I, but, you, but not I as think, cool. I think uh how you said like scenes with like them being alone. I would say like that's fine, but there are some people who genuinely think that the entire movie should just be the monsters. And I'm sorry, I have to like disagree to an extent because I feel well, like yeah. Godzilla's always had a human element to it. And if you strip it away, I feel like the movie would be incredibly boring. No, but I, I still agree with like, yeah, the better scenes were like where they just didn't have characters saying shitty dialogue were like the yeah. better parts. But like, there are just people who say stuff like that. And I'm like, I just feel like you just do not understand like, what oh, yeah. a series I mean, I, I said this. I, I while I was watching Godzilla versus Kong as a rewatch, I was like watching it. I'm like, I would love to see a editing project where you cut out most of the dialogue and you make it more focused on the monsters themselves to make sort of like this kind of semi silent film. Like you still have the human characters present because you know there are numerous scenes devoted to having the human characters be present there in order for the story to progress, but maybe like cut out a lot of their dialogue and have it mostly focused on the monsters themselves. Um, But I think base what really should be happening is like, yeah, that we should have better written human characters like, you know, that, that we should definitely start with that. So yeah, I agree. I think, yeah, you should, you do need that human element because you know, yeah, I feel like I feel like it would be interesting to see like an entire kaiju film where it's just from their perspective, but it would be extraordinarily difficult to pull off. And I know Adam Wingard is not the kind of filmmaker to pull that off. So, well, because I mean, for the people who could definitely. not, for the people who could not shut up about Godzilla movies always having bad characters and they shouldn't have it, they got their movie. This is their movie. Because yeah. this movie is mostly yeah. just action sequences. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I'm and sorry. Characters. I called it the moment people started saying, I'm like, you know how boring that would be? And that's how boring this movie is. Yeah, it's just exactly. a bunch of action scenes that aren't yeah. even that good. Yeah. Like me personally, I would be for a monsters only kaiju movie if Godzilla, like just the idea of Godzilla as a character wasn't so tied with humanity. Right. Yeah. No, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think you should still have the, those human characters. I'm just saying maybe, you know, have a lot more scenes devoted to visual storytelling with the, with Godzilla, like, on their own. Yeah, you know, like, you if you do... divide it equally, there's no issue. Of course. Like, I agree. Oh, with yeah. You. yeah. But, like, there are just people out there who have this, like, you got to end all of it. Just have this. And I'm like, well, then you got your movie. This is no, your movie. No, yeah, no. There's the, – we. I was talking to William about this. There's, like, this – this this subsection of people that just believe like 
believe like the stereotypes of Godzilla films are what the Godzilla films are. It's like, no, like you need to actually watch them to understand the issues fully. Like the issue isn't that there's human characters. The issue is that the human characters that we'll see more often than not are not very good. Yeah. Oh, someone just said the same guy again, fan in the chat had a really good comment. I think a monsters only film would work if it was 30 minutes long. I think exactly. That's really good. Exactly. That's why I said when, when I was talking about the Godzilla versus Kong, like cutting it down, it would be significantly shorter. It would be like a short film. So like, yeah, you could not do a feature film like that. I don't, I don't think you could, you could try, but it would be, it would get pretty old pretty fast. It would be like skin of rink. We're mm -hmm. like, okay, you get what the gimmick is like 10 minutes in, but you still have another hour and a half left of the movie. It's like, oh, well, now the gimmick's kind of just lost. It's it's yeah. no longer fun. All right, uh, we are we are uh, we are past two hours and ten minutes. Do we want to wrap it up with uh, final thoughts? Sure. Sure. Yeah, uh, get me out of this. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right, uh, we're, uh, Jane, we're, stop this crazy thing. <laughs> uh, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're just going to go ahead and work our way way backwards. Uh, Lily, final thoughts on Godzilla Kong: The New Empire. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Tony. What about you? Okay, um, well, I give it, like, a 5 out of 10. It's, like, okay, look, when I saw it in theaters, like, there was a bunch of kids in the, th in the theater with their Godzilla toys, and I'm like, okay, it's primarily aimed for little kids who don't really know better, but, like, you know, anything else, I'm like, nah, I, there's, like, other Godzilla movies I'd rather watch, and unfortunately, uh, I gotta say, this is, like, bottom tier for me in terms of monsterverse movies <laughs> all right hal uh i it's not the worst thing i've ever seen but i highly doubt i'll seek out watching it again i'm, I'm sure i'll watch it again at some point just it might not be until like years from now it's it's certainly not the kind of monsterverse film or kaiju film in general i would ever seek out to watch you know like I feel like there's far better ones I could seek out. I, I'm still waiting for the day minus one gets a Blu-ray release. Man, I'm I'm waiting patiently for that. <laughs> All right, Cole. Um, well, uh, I mean, it, it's pretty obvious uh, that uh, it's bad, but uh, I gave it a one and a half on Letterbox, which is basically a three out of ten. Uh, and that that's pretty much where it is. It's pretty much everything that I don't necessarily like in a Godzilla movie like bad human characters barely an attempt of a story even that fight scene suck like it, it's such a hollow experience i don't even know <laughs> if i hate it more than gvk because i feel like gvk made me more angry to an mm. extent because a lot of that movie was just a lack of effort and this movie is similar where there's a lack of effort but i just was so checked out i don't even know if i do hate it more i really gotta think on it like just sit there and think but this one's it's it's in the bottom ten for sure. I don't think I put it in the bottom five, but it's pretty close. It's not very good. Yeah. Um, the whole like you don't. I don't. I also don't know. Like I feel like there's things I like about GVK more, but I feel like there's things I like more in GXK. It's it's like back and forth. Yeah, because there's some things GVK did better than this one. Yeah. But there's also things that this, this movie one. did even worse. So yeah. I'm like, I don't. I don't know. I really got to think about it. But this yeah. is. It really just this is a culmination of just like such a like narrow minded view of what this franchise is to me at least. Yeah, like it's just kind definitely. of the if you if you want a flashy action scene and, and that's it and that's all you care about with these movies, well then this is the movie for you. And if you enjoy that, again, that's fine. I'm not gonna like they're not even that good. Get all <laughs> anal about it. <laughs> but I feel like just again, a lot of the discourse around this movie has been an, an absolute disaster. No one can have an actual conversation. This is the most conversation I've ever got with other people about this movie without it being a dumpster fire. Yeah, and, and, so, and like, 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 like this, this stream is longer than the movie itself. No, that's no. true. <laughs> really? But, um, Take that well, out. I, I, so. I mean, this stream was more fun than the movie. I can tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the movie's not good. And uh, frankly, like, I know I have a preference, like, my preference is mostly like a, a, a movie with like meaning and characters that I care about. And if the Godzilla scenes are great, that's cool. 
but I really do care about the actual like story and you know the movie part of a movie. So like, and this one just isn't that. That's kind of what it boils down to. And yeah, that's kind of where I stand on it. Wow. Uh, this the it's it's a movie that exists. <laughs> it's it's whatever. <laughs> you love it. You've seen it. <laughs> yes all right um thank you everyone once again for joining us for another episode of tokyo titan cast uh let's just go around uh give our closings uh, uh plug anything we got to promote starting with lily um you can find me on uh twitter and uh i guess instagram um I write for Kaiju United. Um, I'm currently working on a piece for a lesser known Super Eye production show called Moon Spiral. Hey, you. Um, it's, it should be very interesting. Um, and uh, uh, go to the movies, I guess. <laughs> All right, Tony. Moving on. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, Tony, you there? Ah, I'm uh, sorry. It's, no, it's just like my internet connection is all. Uh, blame uh, the internet. Uh, well, uh, we'll, 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 we'll go back to Tony. Uh, all right, Tony. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh. <laughs> oh that's funny um okay i guess I'll, I'll go next yeah so you can find me at citizen hell on youtube uh, i run a podcast my very own podcast uh called too many movies the podcast where i discuss dvds blu-rays and even the occasional vhs tape uh and i'm also on letterbox just type in hal and you, if you find the big head homer that's me all righty cole um so you can find me through like the stuff i make uh, i still edit for this channel sometimes frankly uh we're, we're kind of having contract negotiations uh davis will not pay me more than two pop tarts and it's pretty bad <laughs> so i got oh, like two whole pop tarts dude? <laughs> yeah nice. well they're not even full pop tarts they're like like the mini ones like uh. I'm, I'm trying to upgrade to full pop tarts but I, we're not there yet um i also do okay also two doing, and a quarter yeah uh, I'll, you know i'll get back to you on that one uh, <laughs> I also started my own channel recently, uh, Gingy Boy. I talk about games, uh, so there's that. Uh, subscribe if you want to, if you want brain dead content. So yeah, watch. Yeah, definitely subscribe. So, yeah, that's all I got. All right, uh, Tony, are you back with us? Hey, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. It's just my internet's all. Yeah. Well, uh, speed run it. What happened? Oh, over, over, yeah. over. Oh, we're, no, we did already. Speedrun, speedrun. Uh, okay, well, my, my plugins again. Okay, so I'm I'm Daikaiju Tony. I have a YouTube channel under the same name, Instagram Daikaiju underscore Tony, and I'm also on TikTok now. I think it's Daikaiju Tony, or it might be underscore. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, between those platforms. Oh yeah, epic. All right, and uh, guys, and... yeah, you got it. It okay. came through. That's good. All right, and if you are watching or listening, uh, y'all already know where to find me. And if you like what you see, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you're beyond generous, I do have a Patreon where you can support the channel, all that good stuff for early access to videos as well as exclusive content. And uh, yeah, take it easy, y'all. Uh, don't be poxed up. Big monkey! Donkey Kong is gay.